Gone to hell, more like. It started when magic came back. The Awakening, some called it. You're rubbing elbows with orcs, elves, even trolls these days. Meanwhile, megacorps bleed the world dry one board meeting at a time. They own just about everything. But not us. We're shadow runners, mercenaries, operating in the margins, working dangerous jobs for the desperate and the powerful. Being a runner takes more than skill and street smarts. You want to live long enough to get paid, you'll need a team, the right talent for the job. Maybe that's a mage, someone who can fry your enemies with deadly spells. A good decker can jack into the matrix and bypass the toughest security without leaving a trace. Adepts, riggers, shaman, and don't forget your street samurai. Packing enough firepower and cyberware to take on a small army. Man, magic, and machine. Takes it all to survive in the shadows. Welcome to the sprawl. to Shatter on Corporate Sins. Tonight is our second to last episode of Corporate Sins. It's been a long series of runs. Getting from there to here, I just went straight into that Enterprise theme song. Nope. <laughs> oh. I'm really glad oh. none of you watched that. All right, no, so that, oh. let's remind ourselves what has happened on the show previously, because certainly our events were not small. They were significant. Previously on Shatter on Corporate Sins. Last time. Mfek, while still retaining all the letters of their name, uh, were had, had had a recent escape from uh, rescuing Elsie. And I say escaping from rescuing Elsie because despite the fact they did successfully rescue Elsie, there was a lot of gunfire and spirits and Mordecai lost his clothing. Uh, people were very injured. I'm just going to just hammer that point home. It wasn't my choice. I recognize I... it wasn't your choice, but it still happened. So... Uh, they were fighting against one of uh, one of several gangs in the Seattle area, specifically the Merlins, a whiz gang, um, who had it out mostly for Cromwell, who had managed to smash the skulls of two of their members previously. Uh, Cromwell had successfully killed the leader of the Merlins, Venus. And at that point, while the heat definitely seemed to still be on Umfek, the worst of it had likely passed. Fang received a phone call from her former mentor and a trusted confidant and friend and a person whom with she viewed as family, asking her to meet him at the Rapid Rabbit Tavern. Uh, very, very quickly, uh, it was apparent that that was a trap. Um, and no one was suspicious of it before that, so that was interesting. Uh, at that point, <laughs> Akshara Nundri, uh, who was now working with the Cutters, another gang in Seattle who had uh, irked the ire of, um, or had been ired or irked by Mfek, yeah. Uh, after Mfek had blown up one of their bases full of very expensive drugs that they were planning on selling. Um, and Akshara had been uh, found to be working with the gang rather than for Knight Errant, whom she was supposed to be working with, and she was a dirty cop. Uh, and it was all very terrible. And um, despite the fact she was crushed under a vehicle, Fang saved her life and then told her her real name. So that when she went to jail, she'd have to remember who uh -huh. Fang was. Yeah, so the person who yeah, uh, managed to be a dirty cop for years, unsurprisingly, managed to still be a dirty cop and get herself not tried and not put in jail. And instead, went and got a lot of cyberware and had a desire to kill Fang. Shouldn't there have been like a witness protection program that should have been like, Fang, you yeah. probably will get murdered for this. Yeah, that was, that was when, you know, someone calls you to come meet them at a bar where you should be suspicious. I don't understand why it's so suspicious. Anyway. Right, so many reasons. Uh, um, and so uh, a, a large fight ensued. Uh, Akshara had one goal, which was to kill Fang, and a secondary goal, which was to kill Pendleton. It was revealed during the course of the fight that Pendleton's son was upstairs. And just as Chroma managed to land on top of Akshara, mostly preventing her from doing anything, except activating the explosives she had planted around the bar with her cutters. Uh, her 
the people in the gang who had planted said explosives for her, um, nice. including not her, not her scissors, no, um, including or people with a lot of emotion. Oh. Um, oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Um, including several in the uh, upstairs, well, at the moment, we weren't sure how many, in the upstairs room where Pendleton's son was located. Cromwell, nice. being able to astrally perceive, uh, was aware that there was a person upstairs. And so, uh, told Pendleton that he would take care of it, ran and ran up the stairs while everyone else uh, worked to get out of the building very rapidly. Akshara lying on the ground, laughing maniacally, intending to go down in a pile of rubble. Uh, Cromwell then very heroically chose to protect Pendleton's son from the two grenades that were planted in the room uh, rather than allowing um, the boy, the, you know, young adult teenager to die in a horrible explosion. I wonder whose fault the horrible explosion was. Um, Cromwell was not able to sustain all of the damage and still live. Also a building then collapsed on top of him. Um, <laughs> there's just a several things that happened in that moment. The rest of Mfek managed to make it out safely, but the Rapid Rabbit Tavern imploded uh, with Akshara, Cromwell, and Lance Jr. inside. Um, when they cleared enough of the rubble away, they found Lance Jr. alive and mostly, almost entirely unharmed, and Cromwell very much the opposite. Um, Akshara's body has probably been found, and it is definitely crushed to death and then, cannot be rescued by a trauma patch. I mean, I didn't... In case one. you were considering putting a trauma patch on her, Fang is whispering your name to her again. Fang learned her learning lesson. Uh, H, uh, HDR and uh, responding to the massive explosion in uh, the South Soto area of Seattle. And Doc Wagon showed up and very rapidly claimed Cromwell's body, as well as uh, in more or less forced anyone else who was injured to seek and obtain medical treatment. Um, no one was allowed. They were essentially going to harvest his organs per his last will and testament or his DNR. Do not resuscitate. Organ donor stuff. So, uh, Mfek had just brought that mood way down. Um, <laughs> so let's pick up where we uh, where we find ourselves as a team. Um, whoever had sustained like significant amounts of damage would probably have been taken to a hospital nearby. Um, in like a, not in a like bedroom, but in kind of like a somewhere in between. You need to stay here overnight, and you need to be here for like ten minutes, like urgent you know, care kind of yeah, thing. an urgent care sort of situation, like the back room in an ER, the back area in an ER where you're kept there until you're like admitted into the hospital. Um, so whoever had sustained significant energy, uh, injuries would definitely find themselves there. I think that's us. Um, I'm gonna have us pick up pretty much after you've been whisked there by Doc Wagon. I was hurt, but not super critically. Everyone else has the option to go where they would like or, or end up where they would after um, demolition or um, emergency response will be on the scene and they'll spend a while making sure that people, there's no one else in the building. Um, Molly will be the co-owner of the Rapid Rabbit Tavern, will be taken away by her husband, um, Oz, as they mourn the loss of their entire livelihood. Hopefully, do they have insurance? I don't know if insurance covers gang-related incidents. I feel like this is a thing. It, it, it probably like, would. Vandalism, I yeah. think. Acts of probably gang. Recourse. Acts of gang. I think, though, knowing insurance companies, they probably will... They'll take a long will, time to process. Yeah, and they'll also come to the conclusion that this wasn't actually demolition due to gangs. It was demolition due to explosives, which is yeah. not oh, covered under gangs. Oh, you're right. Yes. It's the whole mm. wind-assisted water and water-assisted wind thing, you know? So no. are you two yeah. you guys don't the know how to do what I'm talking about. All right. Yeah. yeah. So we're at the hospital. Yeah, they would leave, keep you in the same room. Great. I will probably follow to the hospital. Yeah, you'd both be welcome to go with them. Yeah, I'll... You, are you taking Dinah there? Yeah. yeah. So Mordecai will hop in as well. So we are on our way to the hospital. I don't care. Thank you, Mordecai. Thank you? For what? You came back for me. 
well, I mean, what else was I going to do? <laughs> I don't know. I, this... Mordecai, I trust you. I've never trusted anyone, and I you came back for me, and, and you picked me up, and I was planning on getting up on my own, but I trusted you enough to keep, to stay on the Matrix and keep taking Akshara out, and I have never trusted anyone like that before. I, I feel the same way about you. Trust isn't something that really comes naturally to me at all. But yeah, still wasn't enough to stop that idiot, though. I suppose that explains why I had trouble trusting him in the first place. I just, I'm worried about Fang, and I'm worried about poor Elsie. I, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get it together. We need to be strong for them right now, right? Right? That's, that's what... I guess, yeah. Okay. <sighs> It just changes everything for me, though. For you? Well, I don't know why. I, I just thought... I kept seeing him do these stupid things and somehow come out of it. And, you know, he just ha always has a knack for sacrificing himself without thinking through the consequences. And... I don't know, I was almost starting to believe he could get away with it. I don't know. I'm just always so scared. Scared but what? Dying. That means you have something to live for. It's not the worst thing in the world. Maybe. It's uncomfortable, this whole thing, like not wanting to die because there's something you care about. It's a lot easier when you can just make decisions like Cromwell and just fling yourself into everything. Without... I know, that's exactly it. I mean, that's you've hit the nail on the head. It's just, it was all so much easier before I had anything to lose that wasn't my own. Well, now we've lost something. Lost someone. I don't know what Fang's gonna want to do about the name. I, I, she's, we'll, we'll let her, um, she's essentially our branding expert. I mean, I would, we pretty I would, much I would, have to let her go with whatever she wants, yeah, right? Like, there's and no I don't, I don't think we her. should ask for a while. She'll bring it up on her own time. I like, it could you're be, right. It could be too soon. I mean, like, I was totally going to bring it up, and you're right. I shouldn't. That's good call. So, in the hospital... Um, I'm signing any paperwork that will let me leave this room. Okay. They just keep pushing paperwork in front of you, and, and no one's letting you leave. I, I will keep signing. But you are very hurt. I'm fine. Now you're just signing a napkin. I'm fine. This, this isn't. I cannot. This is I cannot a say no. You are bleeding. I'm fine. Actively I've bleeding. I've got it's it's closed. Most of my body doesn't even need blood anymore. Okay. Um, um. So I'm I'm going to state you now. I don't know what that you means. You signed for it. <laughs> they sedate you. Oh. Well, that okay. <laughs> Like, you're conscious, but they make you a little loopy. I'm just gonna keep mumbling that yeah. I wanna leave. Yeah, you're just very sleepy now. I, I also, if I can't leave, I am going to get out, ask for another napkin. Yeah. And and start writing out a list of things that need to get done. Okay. Um, I think it's very imperative that the number one is to, like, find the rabbit. Um, and then it's gonna be like, go on seeking ice cream, and then it, as you go on the list, it gets more and more like... It makes less and less yes. sense, even though finding the rabbit makes so much sense. Elsie's kind of questioning the list, but she's doing a lot of like, <laughs> okay, Fang, like, okay. You, you have to go and, and get everything to the turtle, because it will take us. Okay. Tell yeah. Me. No, I. Did yeah. you did you pay the fare? Uh, 
I I will pay the fare on um, the sure? turtle. I will. If I you will go do underneath it. my bed. Oh my God! Does Spank keep all of her Nuyen under her bed? Um, <laughs> yes, actually. No, a, we know she has a bank account. I do have a bank account because I have a credit card. But there is... No, that's, there's no money in the account. Okay. Yeah, there's a, that is the business bank Also, account. credit cards aren't a thing, but... A line of credit. Yeah, um, okay. I, I have the cred sticks are all underneath my bed, and I was actually going to explain that later, so it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. Um, I think it's like, if, if you have it in the house, Elsie knows about it. Yeah. Like she's, She's gotten pretty hardcore about the like building security and whatnot. She probably is aware, pretty aware of what goes on. Go it's your room. Um, it is just my room now. Yeah, I mean, Elsie wants to leave and just kind of inquires, you know. You were incredibly injured. We're probably gonna keep you overnight. Let's just leave when they're not looking. <laughs> no, we need to stay. I, I, I medically, I can't let, like, you might die if you leave. We need to stay. We'll just, I don't know, we'll find, like, a trid to watch or something, okay? Yeah. Someone got say 375,000 channels available. Hey, hey, what's fries? Don't tell the doctor. <laughs> the doctor's hey, hey, gang. <laughs> How's no? Let's not ask that. No. Uh, it gave Fang something, so that's why she's a little off. I want to leave. Did they I, not? How are you doing? I mean, I'm doing pretty horrible, but they said that I, we have to stay overnight. So get these done. Oh. What? <laughs> I think I saw the rabbit in the hallway. So <laughs> okay. What? I'm glad you're here because I was not looking forward to like my only companion being, you know, a little drugged over the next couple hours. Well, we will stay as long as you need. Well, I mean, I, I, I yeah. yeah. Well, they could go them out here. eventually. No, 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 it's not urgent care, right? I just don't know how like this many hours works. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure Elsie can persuade them to let. Yes. <laughs> Um, this is my mother. <laughs> yeah, I'm just so worried about her. Oh my, oh my god, she's. Do you see her? Do you see what happened? You should stop letting your daughter get shot. Look, you can't. You have. Do you, do you have a teenager? Do you, no, do you have a teenager? I, sorry, no, have you I, ever tried to tell a teenager what to do? I, no. No, it's it's hard. You just need to let them learn. I mean, she's very smart. She's very smart. She's very strong. Okay. Uh -huh. She makes me cry. That sounds normal for a teenager. <sighs> So, like, I, I feel like we have a lot to, like, talk about. We don't have to do it all now, but, like, are we, are we safe right now? Like, are there people coming for us again? Like, I mean, the hospital is probably about as safe as anywhere, but. I mean, I, I would say we should, we should take shifts, us, uh, of being awake. I don't. I don't know that we should let anybody, the entire group, be unconscious at the same time. For I now. mean, did anybody make it out of the building besides Lance's son? Honestly, I don't know. But if if you get this for a minute, I can I can kind of look into I it. I just don't want to like have to be. I want to know if we if we have to like look over our shoulders, you know, or like if is it over? Well. Is anything we made all, we made a lot of enemies. Cromwell made more than most of us, I think. But Venus is dead. Shara is, I assume, dead. Yeah. Are we forgetting anyone? Well, I mean, I think Venus had like a few followers. I guess they could. If they decide to avenge her, we're in trouble, but it seems like the explosion took out most of Akshara's people, so, look, like, I think we dealt him a pretty hard blow. Look, the hard truth is we're not safe, but we're safe for now. And we'll protect each other. Were we 
we ever safe to begin with, though? I mean, if you think about it. No. Venus I mean, we, came we and were, found us. And we were statistically safer than we are as of late. You probably didn't want this kind of answer to your question, but... Does Mordecai have an understanding of statistics? I, it's, <laughs> he has, he has his smart. own idea of an understanding of <laughs> Same statistics. Same frame as just looking at him quizzically like, statistics, really? Yeah, huh. you know, you've got like a one in 10 chance that you're gonna get murdered by a gang, and then that chance goes up to like a hundred percent for Cromwell, and can we not? That's a little too soon, Mordecai. Well, I'm trying to help. I just can't believe he's gone. Well, I mean, I mean, I he's been with me since I was like what ten, eleven. Long time. I'm so sorry, Elsie. I don't know, it's just really weird. What's, well, the feel it, like the feeling of him being gone is weird or the circumstances of everything, yeah. I mean, why did Lance betray us? He did it to save one of his own. Yeah, but he couldn't even, I don't know, it's just all so awful. That's my point. Like, if, if people like Lance can betray us, then safety is just an illusion. But all we can do is live the life that we think makes sense for us. And we don't get to control when forces outside our control decide to take us out. But if they change the way we live our lives because we're scared. I think you guys should hear me out on this, but I think you guys should move into the house. But I just bought curtains. I don't know if you understand how long it takes to set up a magical lodge correctly. Do you have? Yeah, my my bedroom is a magical lodge. Well, just make it, th- keep it there. What? Keep it there. Like it means a lot that you would invite us into your home, Elsie. Well, you don't have to answer. I mean, it's an open invitation. I'm just saying that, you know, you guys are welcome to come and go. We have enough space. It doesn't have to be an all or nothing thing. I mean, I certainly think right now, given the circumstances. Yeah, that yeah. I, I mean, I can always. Sleepovers. Yeah, I, Fang is maybe loopy, but she's right. I don't need to be in the magical lodge except for rituals yeah. and whatnot. I'll so get you guys keys, and you can come and go. Just like, don't let pickles into the yard because he digs. Uh-huh. Okay. And also sometimes gets kidnapped. Yeah. <laughs> Although now I've got the home security system <laughs> set up through his butt, uh, cybernetic <laughs> eye, so. Can, like, I'm like, where's Pickles? Oh yes, okay. <laughs> dig, 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 dig. When I was little, I always thought that, like I had this dream that I'd steal something big enough that I could sell it and then Cromwell and I would just retire from shadow running and have a big house. He did have a big house. Yeah, well, the timeline got changed a little bit after he lost his sight. But I think he thought, I don't know. He never meant the same to me that he did to either of you, but he still was a singular individual, and he showed me that there can be more to who we are than just looking after ourselves. And while I still think he was wrong about a lot of stuff, I owe him a lot. And he, his willingness to just love and trust fearlessly. I mean, it's something I can never understand, but he makes me want to try. Mm 
I think things are going to be different now. Yeah. We're going to need more lock picks. That's for sure. Yeah. It's because he would always just break yeah, I, down we, doors. We, we, <laughs> You know, he'd see a door it, 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 it was, there, it was a good joke. and like to me, it's an <laughs> Can a real Can you just obstacle. go for like ten minutes? Yeah, I, I'll, I'll, I'll go. Sure. Do you, do you I'll, want? Um, I'll, I'll just be out I in the courtyard. I just need a different conversation. Like just not right now. Just not right. this moment. Why don't you go to sleep? The doctor's still like sitting in the room. Do, do you want, just push the button if you want more. Maybe why not? You can push it more. It's better there than here. <laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm really worried about her. Yeah. I think you have good reason to be worried and I don't know what to say, but I just have to keep an eye on her, I think. She probably doesn't want to hear me say I told you so, does she? <laughs> Good thing no. you can sleep right now. I am no. sleep right now. <laughs> okay. How did this get in here? I mean, Frank picks up the ring. It's, it's just on the table. Yeah. There's probably a, like a medical table that has like- Yeah, it's a yeah they always have like a little equipment. rollover yeah, to yeah, say that. thing. Isn't this Cromwell's ring? I Yeah, I guess so, but why is it here? No. I, I can sense the ring. It's the same ring. Yeah, but like, I don't learn anything about it. It no. doesn't whisper no. secrets to you? No, that's It does not be like, oh, I didn't speak to you in a British accent. Um, so uh, the, the evening will pass, the doctors will kind of come in and out, you guys will heal a reasonable quantity of physical damage, if you sustained any. Uh, let's not worry about rolling for it, because probably by the time you will actually need to worry about how much you have sustained, you have recovered all of it. Um, so... Well, that's ominous. <laughs> but, but, you know, the magnanimous ominous. Yeah, yeah like, it's, it's what... I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like, be like, oh, now they break into the hospital. The hospital explodes. What? End of show. Um, <laughs> Don't do that. So, uh, the, the evening will pass, and uh, sometime in the morning, um, probably around 7 a.m., you will get, you will all get a message. Um, and it will, it will be from Mel's. In Brazil, you are cordially invited to a reading of the last will and testament of Magnus and Cromwell. To be down at Pike Place Market Tea Shop. Uh, there will be complimentary tea and sandwiches. Is there a time? Wait, what? Y you have Cromwell's will? Is um, the executor of the state as a member of the Magnus and Cromwell Foundation. <sighs> Okay. Can we? <laughs> Certainly would be. At 9 a.m. I would be glad to see you that. Today? Yeah. What time is it right now? Is it, is it like 6 a.m. or okay, something? Okay, can we leave? Yeah, yeah they'll, they'll discharge yeah. you at about 7. Now, we don't think this is another trap, do we? <laughs> I don't know. I think we... we just need to circle the block. All right. I, I think we're all gonna go, but carefully. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we were careful last time. No, you weren't! I at least, I you were careful! None of you were careful! Uh, to put in perspective, uh, Fang is probably gives back all the things that were confiscated. Yeah. Um, like she all is, of her weapons. Uh, she is missing the helmet uh, and the shield, because they were both left on the table. Uh, in the now collapsed there. building. In the collapsed building, and they did not. I, I thought you left you, them at I home. I thought you left them at home. You didn't, you didn't bring have them in. Oh. Uh, I assumed yeah. you left them. Had I assumed them that in. I brought them because. But that's up to you. Yeah, I assumed that it, it's cool. I got new ones. Well, later in the future, I'll have them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it would have been nice for you to have had them in the fight. Well, yeah. I, 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 I she was definitely table, not But then, like, murder happened, and I wasn't like, I better gear up and put the snaps in the helmet. And it honestly would have helped. Yeah, probably. Like, seriously. And shield too. I mean, go buff in the bathroom if you have to, but... <laughs> there was a bathroom. The bathroom. Bathroom. There was Ashkara there. You don't just put on an helmet when you're... You, I can say for sure, you will never buff in that bathroom again. Yep. 
That bathroom is gone. That sounds like a really ominous curse. That's the only curse. part of the building that is still standing. Yeah. Because he left it. And it yeah, there's the spells. There's so residual it's magic. A, a freestanding, like, It's like a porta potty now. If you want to know oh. about what we're referring to, check out corpsins.wikia.com and check out episode really one. Don't. We go to the thing. So you head to Pike Post Market um, and you, you go into the tea shop, Maris's tea shop, and she's laid out um, a selection of sandwiches and a number of teas, and she invites you to take your seats uh, for the formal reading. Very short, it won't take very long, but I did want... You, you, are, you are part of the will, so it seemed to be a a notary. Bit. <laughs> probably, yeah. At this she point, probably she is, has to right? be because she's she's like in charge of the Magnus and Cromwell Foundation. Yeah, she has she's no skills. Totally a notary. Yeah, okay. she's probably a that notary. makes more sense. <laughs> and you like, she pulls out this piece of paper, and it's like clearly handwritten, like with a stamp, like a sealed stamp on it, and it, it's like a, as archaic as you can all imagine as people in the sixth world, because you know it's on a literal piece of paper, oh, and funny. it's handwritten. Um, so you get this impression that this is an official will. <laughs> Cromwell didn't go to a lawyer and get a will written up. No, I got that. Yeah. Okay. No, I got it. I'm just like... Yeah, yeah. Elsie's very confused. Just her glasses. The last will and testament of Magnus and Cromwell. Being of sound mind and uh, want of body. Quest, no, okay. And want of body. Magnus and Cromwell directs that upon the official determination of his death, which was done so yesterday, at... 803 Pacific time, that his property be distributed as follows. One graduation cap and gown, properly tailored with razor blade embedded cap corners and hidden pockets to Ellie Hawthorne. She like hands it to you. One Harley Davidson scorpion with heavy map weapons mount and one dwarven sized punching bag to Shell Glasgow. One pair of bronze alloy knucks to Mordechai Schultz for the purpose of termination of bullies. One vintage holographic Tron Psycho Light Trail holographic projector custom modded for GMC Bulldog style fan bodies for mainframe. Magnus and Crummer further directs that his remains be properly handled by Muck Sanderson's according to the ways and customs of the Bear Doctors of the Salish Shid Silhadian Nation. Are there any further questions? Please help yourself to some more Earl Grey. Wait, I have so, so many Merc questions. So has his body? His body, I believe, has already been cremated. What? As per his request. But... So the, these knucks that I get, yeah. were they previously Cromwell's? I think so. I didn't specify. So they're troll sized. <laughs> Probably. There's no way they. <laughs> Without, <laughs> but he has his tailoring thing. I don't know if fashion would apply he to knucks. Uh, I don't. Uh, to I, be clear, it didn't specify, and I don't remember Cromwell having knucks. So. I'm pretty sure he didn't have a Tron yeah. holographic projector, so, we, so he may have... probably purchased these for you. Okay, that's nice. Claudia right. doesn't know. Is Scorpio the motorcycle? Yes. Thank you. Is it outside? Yes. Can I have the keys? Okay. Yeah, frame one. Wait, so Frank leaves? She got things to do. Maybe Frank follows her out. No, I, I got... We, we, we did the thing. And now I'm better, and I'm not. I, there's still stitches, but like, there's things to do. Can we, got, can we help? No, I mean no, no helping. I, I just I, okay. I, I will keep in touch. Just, I'm not leaving. I will keep in touch. I will give you hourly like updates. I just we okay, have, there's so I, much. Can I have my list back? Yes, you may not <laughs> find it as helpful as you um, <laughs> hope. Oh yeah, this is this is the worst. Yeah. <laughs> I just I remember you you lecturing me about running away. I'm not running. I'm doing things. I can't just sit in a room okay. and just constantly think about how we didn't do a good enough job without doing a better job. Like I, I would just okay. Thanks. Take care of yourself. Yeah. Sure. Um, yeah, Elsie kind of, um, asked. 
So you're saying he's already been cremated? Yes, this were the incorrect instructions as far as I'm aware, but you can check with Mac. It's been less than 24 hours. Well, that's just the customs of the bad doctors. Well, what if I wanted to have a wake or something for him? Yeah, I, I would like to, we can acquire the ashes, I'm sure. And, and his will said to do this? Well, that's the customs of the bear doctor, which is what is said in his will. <sighs> All right, I'll give Merc a call. I feel like you guys are leaving me out of this. Well, I'm, you're a minor. Are you serious? You don't have rights in this situation. You're right, I don't. Okay. I'm very sorry for your loss, but you don't have power of attorney or the ability to execute the state. Elsie, do you want me to knock this person unconscious? It will change the fact that she's still 16. No, but I appreciate it would the make, offer, Mordecai. Would make me feel better. Have you considered tea for calming the nerves? I have some chamomile. I, I only ever drink slightly dirty water. Well, that is how some people describe this one. Pulls chamomile like is the devil's weed. And sticks it in water. Um... Fang's gone. Is well, she okay? No. She says she has things to do, but she won't. She she won't let anybody get near. She wanted her list back. You can track her, right? Yeah, yeah, to a certain extent. She I mean, I'm guessing she's just gonna go find some troll killers to punch, maybe. Did, does this mean you graduated? I actually haven't had a chance to. T- look at my test results. Did they send them? Do you need me to get them? I mean, it would be pretty embarrassing for Cromwell to have left you this if you didn't, like, if you failed your GED, right? Well, it would pretty much be a cherry on the terrible week I've had. Yeah. I don't know. I tell you, if, like, I didn't pass this time, I'm just gonna give up. Because I don't know. It's like, why keep hitting my head against this wall? You don't need that piece of paper to tell you you've got enough experience to survive. Yeah, education is terrible. I'm <laughs> firmly well, opposed to I'm it. Pro, but if it makes you happy, like I've I'm said this to you before. education, I'm just not really pro-standardized tests. Well, I believe all institutionalized systems are terrible. So, yeah. anyway. Okay. Duly noted. Yep. Um, I'm there for you if you passed, and I'm there for you if you failed. But personally, I think it's dumb. Okay. You might be right. Oh, I'm right. <laughs> well, maybe we should go back to the house and... Yeah, we should probably look... I don't know. I'll Fang's... see if my test results are... Fang's got stuff to do. We probably need to let her just do it work it out of her system. What if she doesn't come back? Well, well then she's, she's a hypocrite. She's she yelled at me for leaving, and she said she would be back. It makes me really anxious when people go. She doesn't exactly blend in, you know. We'll find her. Honestly, the last thing I'm worried about right now is losing Fang, at least geographically. Oh, okay. All right, well, maybe we can head to the house. I gotta feed the dog anyway. Unless the bear doctor's dead. I need to call Merc. Merc's the best. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think Merc's I could take on all the bear doctors, but let me know if you want me to, like, or Sharky to just cause a scene. Yeah, I just he think loves doing that. It's just. He's good at it, too. Yeah. You have a garage at your place, right? Can I uh, use that? Do you wanna see the war room? So you guys head back yep. to the house. Head back to the house. Um, when you get there, there has been a package delivered for you. Um, and uh, with it is the message, uh, be extra careful. And it's for Merc. It's a collection of grenades. Oh. Jesus Christ. There's a lot of irony in that, though. <laughs> Wait. Are- <laughs> and, and then it says Merc on behalf of Cromwell. OK, so we, we take it into the house and um, we take it into the what is the war room. Be extra careful with the box of grenades. I'd... 
Can I, like, I need to actually know mm-hmm. how many grenades is in the box of grenades. Like, I need an, didn't actual get an actual number. number so I need, I need a to clarify. solid number so that we can declare it Imagine now. it's a few cases. Yeah, it's probably, probably... 18? Oh, I yeah, more than that. Yeah, number. Oh! 24? <laughs> yeah. Probably. Because four. On how many. So like, let's say they're like, <laughs> money did they're like this big, left. and there are six of them, and then so in like it's a like tomb. a box, right? Yeah, like, yeah, that's like twenty four. Yeah, and as Elsie's like going through it, and she gets to the bottom, like, like there's there's other stuff in there. There's uh, rocket launcher ammo and a couple like a Scare lot of for Elsie, man. Yeah, he had some powerful foci. Those bear doctors probably just kept it for themselves. I don't get this. So if this is on behalf of Cromwell. Do you put a call in a Merc? Yeah, I call Merc. You're like, you wanna you wanna come get some brunch? I'm at work. We'll I'm stop by. <sighs> Alright. I just sure give you- like mainframe the I'm like, this is the war room, this is what I've got set up. I like give her a little like it's nice. Uh, just ignore Good the boy. stuff about Boston and <laughs> just ignore that. <laughs> It's like a whole wall. Guess. Well, it's, it's a, it's a, we talked about that it was a screen, so yeah. she probably just swipes it all it's a on Pinterest the side. Board. Yeah, so then it's an she like rotates Pinterest it. Pinterest board. Yes. And there's a Seattle who wants to murder us wall. Yes. <laughs> like, we need help Which needs to be updated now. <laughs> some faces get X out. Oh, there is some, yeah. Um, it looks like you've got this under control, but if you ever need any help with this setup, let me know. I may take you up on that. I gotta go see Merck. Where are so, you going? Beth's for brunch. Do you want to come? Or do you want to, you can play here. <laughs> you have issues with brunch, I forgot. No, about well, this. <laughs> just the last time I went to brunch, it didn't go well. And also the last time we went to a restaurant, it ceased to exist. And so I just, I'm a little, I'm having some maternal things right now, which are very complicated. Do you want me to just keep my calm open? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that'd be good. Where do um, you, you want me to just call? Like, <laughs> I'll just call you every thirty minutes. Uh, I like activate my GPS tracker and turn my call. Mainframe will be in the garage. She t- took the long way home, and the van is full of stuff nice. again. And, and she is she is tinkering. Yeah, but it's very, like there's welding involved. There's a lot of tools. Yeah, like Elsie nice. has obviously made a lot of improvements on the house when, yeah. like. <laughs> yeah, they're still troll size, like, you know. You also see Mainframe un- pull out a few boxes of grenades from Dinah as well. Oh, oh what? Where do you guys get these grenades? The grenade the store. The grenade store. Oh. The grenades and more. It's actually oh, down yeah. on Union. And Is it a local? Yeah. Mordecai yeah. just sorts. sits in the living room. He's just being all contemplative. Mm. I assume it's more M O O R E, and it's where the old Moore Theater used to be. Oh, and it's run by Roger Moore's or um, oh, Captain Moore's brother. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and Moore. That's great, though. I I am learning after a year. I'm learning from you guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So she says to Merc, like, head hey. down. You get there. He like brings a plate of hash hash browns, and he's like, here. They're unlimited still. It's like it's like fries that aren't fries. Why do right. I want that? More for me. Um, fine. Just leave it. I forgot I haven't eaten in a long time. We got fries here too. So, Marilis said that, like, you and the bear doctors have Cromwell's body? Uh, well, uh, I guess they have the remains. Like, why didn't you guys call me? We did, this morning. So you already cremated him? That's, uh, their customs, I guess. I don't know. That well, part's not up to me. I was just told to pick there? up the body from the hospital and then take it to the bear doctors. He's like a dad to me. Like, why would you guys do that without me? Because they have customs? It's not really, it wasn't up to me. I just follow in the orders. Is this, would it make a difference? Like, is it because I'm human? What? No. Half of the bear doctors are human. You're not a bear. I just don't know, understand. There, none of them are bears too. I don't know why they call themselves the bear doctors. I just don't understand why you guys didn't call me. It wasn't part of the orders. Okay. The grenades, though, I was told uh, it once I delivered a body of, you know, Cromwell's to the Bear Doctors to then deliver a case of grenades to your house. I went and bought them per directions for you. When did Cromwell tell you to purchase those? 
Uh, well, that was part of him getting his whole will thing done. I don't know. You can ask Maris when that happened. Well, thanks for the grenades. Well, I went out and bought them last night, so that, that was the part. I knew I had to buy them after I delivered the body. I don't actually know what time they created it. You could double check that they have done that. But as far as I know, they have to do it right away, before sunrise or sunset, depending on when they Who's get it. Who's your in. contact over there? I don't know, Bear Duck? Duck, Give me duck a name. Bear? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look up the Bear Doctors and call their main line. I don't think they have fun. <laughs> it, gives, it gives you, like, Joe Bear. <laughs> Brown Papa! Okay. Elsie <laughs> kind of, like, so leaves in a half. <laughs> um, she's obviously not happy with Merc. Do you want some fries to go? Yes! Okay, I'll put them in a box for you. Jeez, I'm sorry. I was just doing what I was told. I've never actually met you. <laughs> yeah, you did. When? Crumble brought me by and you gave me fries. I give a lot of people fries. This you is know my what? job. You know what? Just like, uh, fine. I'm very sorry for your loss, but I, I can't undo what they did. Yeah, I get that. That's what everybody's saying. She like leaves in a huff. She gets her box of fries. Yes. Yeah, no, she waits for the fries and then leaves in a half. So you guys are getting hourly, like, pictures of, like, they're, like, 10-second videos of somewhere where Fang is. They're like, I'm not kidnapped. This is where I am. And then, like, it's, like, a location. <laughs> and then that's, like, it. Like, every hour, like, on the hour. It's, like, Snapchat. That. Yeah. It's, like, I'm in the runner store. And then there's, like, I'm at the gun range. And then it's, like, I'm... Uh, getting new implants, and then <laughs> wait, 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 wait. She's get. I thought she just got. Who, is she getting them from Nassim? No. <gasps> <laughs> what is going on? I don't know. And the thing is, this is great that she's being all fastidious. But if she misses one of these pictures, now I'm going to be worried sick. Uh, there's actually a uh, right before, right after the hour one. There's like a 30 minute one uh, link, and you could click it, and it is a live feed of. Um, the surgery, uh, but there's a the guy's wearing a mask as he's doing it oh because my God, he wants. This is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why look away? Is it directly from your eyes? No, it's like, not from it... my eyes. Like set up. Um, but the rule, like, I, if you want to have Fang have this negotiate, it's like I need this to be filmed. Like, I'm like, I'm not. It's not my thing. I don't go in for that. I Where are you? I have a mask for you. I'm sorry, but that's not, I don't go Here in is for extra that. Extra cred stick. All right, fine. I'll wear a mask. And it's like, please tell me I can be fully clothed. I have to say, yes. I think Elsie and Mainframe having had augments done to them that were not their choices, probably one of the worst things we could have seen <laughs> yeah. on video. I mean, you don't have to watch it. It's just available. Do you, you let them to. know what it is before they click the link? Did you know? Or, like, you'll never know. believe what's happening to Fang. You said, like, this is my choice or yay. No, no, I just like, this, uh, I'm gonna be busy for a while and then a link. As as that's happening, <laughs> you'll never believe what happens to Fang. <laughs> is the name of as Fang. that's happening. Uh, Mordechai sees it and he says, "Well, Fang's clearly gone off the deep end. C are you two like <laughs> capable of handling this? I I just realized I have a thing I need to take care of. I'm just gonna be gone a few days, but I'll be back. What? A few days? Yeah, I just I've been it's something I've been putting off for a long time and I can't anymore. Not ever since is it this. Like magic stuff." No. Please tell me you're not putting a will together mysteriously. I have nothing of value. <laughs> you I I you mean, can't I'm, put people my... in a will to give away. I give Fang away. Is that how marriage is? Like, my, oh, I, I, I'm, I'm, you're my brother and you just died, so obviously I get your wife now. Like, I'm pretty sure that was the plot to three Victorian movies. My... <laughs> <laughs> a couple of Shakespearean <laughs> Seriously, my... Magical Lodge is like seashells and sand. It's useless to anyone other than me, but... It's more of a metaphorical thing, just as long as... Where... where are you going? I... I don't really want to... I don't really want to... I trust you to come back. I, I... I'll be back. And you see Sky Sharky appear. Uh, Sharky! And he's like all <gasps> formed of clouds and wings and feathers. He burps. Uh, and apparently he burps. <laughs> Uh, and Mordechai like hops on his back and they zoom off uh, to the east. 
Oh. Well, at least he's there are things fence. in the east that I can think of. I, just... I know. This is like one of those bad television shows from the '90s where everybody was stuck on an island. People just keep. There's leaving. more than one. It is like it's a lot. Oh, okay. It's a lot of them. Wow. For a while, I thought that like all continents were islands in the 90s because oh. there were just so many shows about people stranded on islands yeah. and surviving on islands and getting voted off islands. Oh. Mm. But like if there's just an island, like how can you get voted off? Like where do you go? The mm -hmm. tribal council. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you need that idol of immunity. Um, so in the meantime, anything in particular going to happen? Oh, 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 wait, meantime of his? Or like, did you want to like, narrate any of this? Mordecai's gone for a something. few days. Okay. He'll come back as promised. Okay. Um, Fang, at some point, you're going to get a call. Or a message. Oh, you know, this is not good because of the kind of implant that uh -huh. uh, It'll be audio, visual, and text, okay. or whatever you need it to okay. be. Um, and it says, uh, hello, Fang. It's been so long since I've talked to you. Would you like to meet up to get drink? <laughs> It'd be really nice to see you. I mean, the it's Lottie. I know who it is. <laughs> it's uh, Lottie Sokola, in case you forgot who I am. You know uh, the I one mean, with the really nice legs. <laughs> like, Fang nice. is like sitting That's up, nice. and like you could tell she's in like, and like Lottie knows she got uh, implants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it's some like back alley, like safe room <laughs> yeah. while she like heals up all the way. You're getting, you, the, the feed ended, but now you're getting hourly updates. Um, Can we tell what, like, how does Fang look? Does, is something uh, changed? He doesn't look like there's not much outwardly that has changed, but roll a perception. Mm. <laughs> okay. See where her again. bandages are? Yeah. Six. Six? Oh. Yeah. yeah, she knows. Uh, as, as Fang turns later. slightly, you see the insides of her ears have little like bandages over them. She's struggling if you ever talk, but it's been, if it's written out, she gets she responds. I think she it, got cybers. Um, I guess I'm back now. <laughs> you just you whisper to me. I whisper to the comms. Yeah, or maybe. Uh, but yeah, like, came back. Like she's in, like in a few. Days, we can yeah. wait a little while. Just let me know when you're free. Can, can you give me? Uh, you can take two days. I can okay. uh, Just, I need two days to <laughs> recover oh, before lovely. I can turn them on. I heard, I heard. Hey, I had a good plan, yes. <laughs> oh, Lottie. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, I eventually, I didn't know she was into wordplay. Uh, Lottie's, Lottie's whatever I want her to be. Lottie's uh, crazy. <laughs> eventually I'll come home. Uh, like, Fang will come home and like, she has like, I don't know if they give out bags because the whole bag thing. And in the future, I'm pretty sure they expect you to bring bags with you everywhere. <laughs> or they, yeah. So like, Fang has to take a couple okay. trips from the motorcycle, and there's like a box for the like the new sniper rifle, and then there's like a new helmet, and then there's like a new shield, and like just brings in a bunch of stuff. And then Fang just like went shopping. Yeah. And it's almost like, like we're all stocking up for <laughs> some big last uh, hurrah, And isn't then it? drops in the living room before like going on the couch and just falling asleep on the couch. Uh, there's also an email invite to everyone's inbox. Oh, no. Chat mail box <laughs> to the brain space. The slack. Yeah, Chat mailbox to the brain space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is company. Uh, about a, uh, a wake that has been scheduled at Beth's. Uh, at like 6 p.m. tonight, uh, in memoriam of Cromwell. Pretty much Fang is just doing like anything she can to not think. Is, keeping yourself busy. is this before or after Mordecai returns? I mean, she'll probably He's, come back. It's been and, a couple days, yeah, so she has heard I mean, about If I had to do my cover, surgery, so. then it's going to be after my surgery. I'm gone three days. So. Sure, it will be the, whatever day. Um, we're going to use perf magic RPG. Time. Okay. And so Whatever you know, day we need it to yeah. be. <laughs> you notice if you happen to go into the garage that uh, Dinah is, is lo looking, and it, it can be well hidden, but there's clearly weapon mounts for several, uh, several different large scale weapons, including a sniper rifle and an assault cannon. Awesome. I'm glad we decided to sniper rifle. Let's go for our team. Good. So. Do you go to I mean, I guess I'll do the body first, yeah. Okay. Uh, 
she's like at a bar on Aurora. Great. Um, she will be she's very kind. So come sit down. I, I bought your drink. What is your favorite? What is the drink you like? Uh, we drink sorrows away. This is what we do. Uh, it, it like Fang seems like confused. Um, but we are like in bar. eventually, just like just what? whatever. Yes, what you have yet, I will drink. Great, as much vodka. Yeah, sure. That sounds great. I this am, is great. And, and she like, you know, hands you the drink, knocks hers back. I am so sorry. We've heard about what happened. Yeah. Yeah. How? I have good ears. Like you do just, now. Yeah. Uh, and, and to the most people's vision, they won't actually, the shape has not changed. It's just like the inside, like the ear canal deeper has all been augmented. There are a couple like new stitch, like scars, cause they had to open it to be able to put it in, but yeah. yeah. I get drilling involved. There's, there was definitely drilling. Yeah. That was probably the most uncomfortable part is that there was audio to the video. Oh God. Also you were in, you know, a bar that exploded. Like it Twice. was on the news. Twice. Uh, it was on the Seattle Street news. Like lots of people. Yeah, we blew up the hat, uh, and then the wizard's hat, and then yes, the rapid the, rapid. two bars. It was very impressive. In two days. I'm yeah, surprised they are letting you in here. It's the sort of work I would do, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess I didn't. I never thought about going into a new kind of running work. Um, that might. I can't recommend demolitions. Well, that's the leg but thing. infiltration, if you were a little quieter, you might be good at that. I can learn how to be quiet. Uh. <laughs> You're sweet, I like you. Have another drink. Bang takes it. Um, Letty will probably continue making small talk. Yeah, I mean, like, Fang will, like... Her <laughs> entire goal, to be clear, is to suss out how Fang is feeling right now. Oh, well, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Fang is being like, like, Claudia's like, what? Fang is being like oddly withdrawn about it. Um, like, very much trying to project the questions back. Um, uh, after like the. Like, I was thinking we're drinking hard drinks. Oh, yes. Yeah, like, after like the second one, like, Fang is starting to just like show it a little bit more. And just, like, it's not. It, it, it just. We talked about this, and we were on the same page for once, and then he lied and ran yes. back in. Yes, he did, he did. Uh, Lottie will like take your hands and like hold them and be like, you know, some people are just very hard to trust. Yeah. But some people are very clear and easy and honest in the fact that they will always lie and they will do what is best for them. And Cromwell was one of those people. And you deserve better. You think? Cromwell's, oh, hey, Cromwell is simple. I mean, yes. He's a good that... person, but he is uh, inconsistent in the fact that you cannot always predict what he will do. Right. Except that he will do the thing that is stupidest. See, the first two things I agreed with, Lottie, and the last one, I don't. Like, yeah, Cromwell's like the simplest, which is its own wonderful thing, but it's also like, like, like every time you say something nice about Cromwell, she's a little, like, it, <laughs> I can tell what Lottie's hitting on. Yeah, well, uh, she is. Yeah. I mean, oh, like, what? <laughs> yeah, she took your hand. <laughs> yeah, but I also tried to take Elsie's hand earlier. Oh, I thought, I didn't know. I was not, going for like, I thought you wanted, me, hand hand like, I thought you wanted no. me to mind giving you something. Um, uh, <laughs> like, Lottie, Lottie is like, I, you know, when, when things are calmer and you would like, I'm here if you ever need to talk. I like drink. talking to you. This is easy. I like okay. talking um, to I you. I like talking to you as yeah, well. Yeah, because you understand, because Carol didn't understand the whole cybernetic it's thing. A, it's would, very nice. You got like, like your new employees. I will go to you. I can hear things that was said yeah. to me once. And then she like, like, she like strokes the <laughs> nice arm. She's like, this is a very nice arm. Yes, who did this work? This one? This yes. one's Nassim. Oh, I should talk to this Nassim. Oh my goodness, yes. Can I, am I allowed to give out Nassim's whereabouts? <laughs> oh, like, oh my this god. This is four <laughs> drinks later. No. Ben gives <laughs> out Nassim's <laughs> oh, email. And like, let me set you up with an introduction before no. like we get any of this happening. Wait, um, like, you can set me up, this sounds lovely. Yes. Yes, and like, Bang sent a very quick email to the scene being like, hey. And then, hey, <laughs> with like five E's. Be like, so, I know you work with the sense deprivation. I'm sorry that I got ears without you. It was really quick. And, uh, 
legs glotty good. Do you want help? <laughs> Ew, that's do all we, you said. Do we have to go on a run to rescue Nassim now? <laughs> oh my god, again, no. Um, look, Lottie, um, she will be like, thank you. You know, for now, I'm quite happy. I got my recently upgraded. And you see, like, hers are those, like, spring back curved ones. Um, oh, like, yeah. They're like, very yeah. stealthy, but also very fast. Um, but super not subtle. Like, no, there is no. no way to hide them. Uh, and, and as they're, like, I'm assuming they just have a pleasant time. Uh, and Fang's like, I don't know, you tell me. Like, you know, Lottie's very happy right I now. I mean, Fang is nice to like talk to someone who wasn't in that Cromwell circle. Like, she's purposefully avoiding talking about Cromwell at all. Unless it's brought up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. no, Lottie. So, you just let me know if you'd like to meet up again. I'll yeah. be around. Yeah, so if, you ever need a, if you ever need a run, just wait like two months. Oh, by the way, I might be murdered soon. It's fine. You know, I have lived like that. He's good life. Yeah. Lottie's yeah. a vulture. Yeah, <laughs> she's real. She has like just, a, you know, a she's, Google alert yeah. um, for like Cromwell. It's like death. establishing pissing rights. As soon as like, like the Facebook if I get in there changes. first. Oh hey, winkity. Yeah. Um, winkity. She waited like three days. Yeah, and and, and, and Fang <laughs> extends the like. Did you know Cromwell? I used to say a little bit because we we have there's we have a, to go. there there were thefts. Gosh darn it! In five hours, um, if you. What that we're gonna be celebrating? Oh, it sounds very nice. I might be busy later. I'm uh, working on some things right now. But You're murdering someone. You know, it's a process. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep. So my goal is to make you good. Like, I am very good now, right? Good. Good. I did a good job. Yes, you did a good job. I, I see you around. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Have a good night. Take care of yourself. Yeah, I can't drive. She like home. definitely winks at you. Like, things already <laughs> turned around. Going to her, something. Well, like, he's not great at flirting. Let's be clear. No. She's low charisma. <laughs> Lottie or Fang? Points for taking the initiative. Oh. Lottie. Oh yeah. Uh, she's, um, she's a go getter. You got pictures of of Fang with Lottie. Um, like hey! the pictures probably show that like Lottie's being more flirtatious and Fang just. She's like, put her arm around Fang's I'm shoulder. I'm watching this slideshow, like, I just. This Smelling seems her like hair. it's too yeah. soon. Do you think this is too soon? What is Lottie going is to be replacing Cromwell? And I don't know. It's, 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 does that look flirty mm, to you? Fell. <laughs> what is going on? So, Fang is out uh, with uh, drinks with like. Lottie. I don't know. Oh my gosh, do you think like Fang is leaving MFEC for another group? I don't. Right. No, I think. I think, I she's think Lottie's trying to get in her pants. What? Really? Really? Look at her hands! It's like way further down than it needs to be. Oh yeah, no, it's not it like on her shoulder. shoulder. It's like on like, her face. Oh. Yeah. No, that's like, like that's pulled her not, in nice and close. I don't think this is, I, it's just, I didn't, that's not wow. classy at all. You know, like Fang's got like her hair braided for no reason. <laughs> yeah, with one side. <laughs> oh, your hair is so lovely, yes. <laughs> Well, I'm just gonna swing by this bar and I mean, make sure she's okay. She might have had too many drinks. At least this way, maybe Lottie won't try to kill us. As long as we stay with Fang. I mean, she was right on. Side. She was on your dream board or whatever it is. The, the dream board. <laughs> That's what it is. The dream board. If if mainframe drives into the neighborhood where you are, would you accept? Fang is ride? sitting in the Scorpio, being like, I can't drive home. Oh, honey. Hey. Your alcohol content is too high. Well, I know that. Can we initiate know that? autopilot? Oh, Please yeah. input a destination. I assume Fang figured out the autopilot <laughs> right as many yeah, was like yelling at it. I know! <laughs> do, do, do you want to let it autopilot or do you want to ride back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. But Fang gets out and like. God. God bless <laughs> and then Fang puts it to a person. <laughs> Fang is drunk. Oh, it's, you had a good time. Yeah. It's good. Friends are good. Friends are good. You need, you need friends outside. I don't. We have to go back, don't we? Go back where? The house. You will notice Fang has not changed clothes since. Is there, still, is there like blood from yeah, us that's searching? Fang, are you avoiding the house? <laughs> don't want to go back. He's not going to be there. Not gonna be in the room. I he asked me to make my side of the bed, and I did not, because I knew we were gonna go back in there 
and then we never did. And if I go back there, his side's still gonna be made, and my side's not gonna be. Okay. <laughs> it's teaching moments. <laughs> and 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 like. Fashion stuff. I'm not gonna tell you that it's gonna be okay because his pajamas not. are still gonna be folded on his side of the bed, and I guarantee somehow a mint showed up on the pillows. <laughs> And they're still gonna be there. And if I if I move it, it's never gonna be there again. And I'm not gonna tell you it's not gonna hurt. Just but I don't think he would want you avoiding all remembrances of him. I'm doing the things, I'm getting stronger, and instead of the, I just don't. I'm he wouldn't ready. want you removing yourself from your family and your home because he's not there. Just don't. It's not the same. I know. And it never will be. Yeah, okay. You should probably talk to Elsie. Yeah, I think she'd like that. I put in um, paperwork yesterday. Because um, Cromwell once asked me if anything bad happened to Elsie, if I'd take care of her. And, like, she doesn't. <laughs> Let's be clear, she's more of an adult than I am. I'm pretty sure she does taxes. Um, <laughs> it's a rare shadow runner right there. Uh, but technically, she needs someone. I just. Right? You know? So, you got a shield. It's really hard to use, it's really heavy. I, I don't think the guardianship is about a shield. Although it's appreciated. Yeah, it's, it's really large. It's not, not a bad thing to have. No, yeah. I mean, we have it I'm practicing, but it's really heavy. Both. And then, like. Yeah. <sighs> Let's go back. Please. We don't have to. No, no, I'm driving. Okay. We're, we're <laughs> Make it back to the we're house. We're already, you like, a block from the house wake? by the time you say please. Go, not your way. Yeah, I mean, wake. like, but, like, Fang will, like, like go to the room and then like go to the laundry room to get laundry instead to, like <laughs> To be clear though when you go into the room you see the bed is not made and Mordecai is like just sitting on the middle of it And he's snacking on soy crisps <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is there a mint wrapper? Like, I'm just sorry like like let me put this in perspective of what's happening Then goes to the room and like pauses because and like goes to the door and does not open it and then here's the like the crunching of a crispy now delicious with his super awesome ears. Yeah, because oh, I, I get a bonus to anything sound related now. Well, opens the door bonus. and on the bed that is half made and half unmade, there is a small dwarf. By the way, like I'm pretty sure Cromwell will have a large bed. Oh yeah, it's, yeah. It's, and then like it's, King. it's pretty much entirely unmade. If you've ever seen like a cat or a dog, like <laughs> wait, just. You unmade like, the Cromwell side too? Probably, yeah. yeah oh. like, I mean, he nested. Yeah. Roll for initiative. <laughs> I mean, pretty much. Fang is gonna like. I think Fang is just super silent and, and like looks and then just starts crying. Like just falls in a heap and just starts sobbing. Bang! What's wrong? Because there's nothing, like, this was the last place that, like, Dude. was their space. I was gonna share the soy crisps. <laughs> Don't. It's not about the soy crisps. I... Oh. I, I know that it's hard for you to understand. Like, you're so much about you that's <laughs> fucking fantastic. Like... <laughs> but this was our space. Oh. This is the space yeah. where, like, I, I, <laughs> I told you? him that his earring wasn't stupid. <laughs> and then it, like, and then, like, that's the place where I accidentally punched him once as a joke, and then we had to fight. <laughs> and then that's the hole that we broke. Dang, those things are still there. No, it's yeah, they're still there, but there's never gonna be new ones. I mean, there can be new holes. Yeah, but but they're not the same. They're not Cromwell yeah, this like size memories, holes. Right? Okay, I'm I'm sorry. I... And like, 
just gonna walk over and like just push you to like the fangs <laughs> out of the bed and then just like slowly make the bed again. Just brushes off some of the, the dust and then just sits next to you and just cries. Mordecai tries to like put a hand on her shoulder. Great. Fang is now just gonna sob into your shoulder. Like big like grab <laughs> sobs. It's probably painful. That's, Fang that's fine. Mordecai casts resist pain. <laughs> Great. Himself. So the wake happens <laughs> eventually. Um, it is a somber yet joyful celebration of the life and times of Magnus and Cromwell. Um, was there, I mean, various people will show up based on who I mean, I pretty much, I'm assuming. <laughs> he just like posted an ad. <laughs> like, there, there's probably, like, Cromwell. You would probably back me up on this. He has a journal of people and addresses, and like it's okay. actually handwritten, and like yeah. Notice it noticeably stops about six months ago. <laughs> Handwriting. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> yep. it's so it's all the old people. Yeah, I guess no one who's new gets invited. <laughs> I mean, he probably updated it. We'll somehow. figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like pokes pokes dots in it. It's braille. <laughs> Um, so, uh, various people will be there. Um, you will maybe briefly think, see Miss J will, will show, um, like wear a hood or something and oh, we not can't really be. like interact too much with you, but kind of compensate just that she's sorry that things turned out this way. Thank you. She'll give Elsie a hug. She will <laughs> like, this is what you do with teenagers, right? <laughs> Elsie just kind of doesn't <laughs> remark on the awkwardness of it, but just kind of is like, you're trying. Um, and she'll actually note, like, this isn't the time, but at some point uh, we should have a conversation. I have some information for you. Okay. Uh, there is drinking and reveling and the partying goes till far in the morning. There's a bunch of, like, Irish... Um, elves there for like they didn't fly in, but there's like a contingency of them oh, that like, the like, oh, comes up yeah. and, and they're you know yeah. so there's a lot of drinking <gasps> from that corner. Oh my god. Maybe is missed it because she didn't get to meet the Irish yeah. folks, so she's just very in their elves and she's just kind of They will come and flirt and drink or drink and flirt. Various combinations. Mainframe teaches them the electric slide. Ooh, there's oh. dancing. Fang also emailed like sent Pot, tried to pot, pay a Decker to find <laughs> Cromwell's son. And I'm assuming it did not become successful. There is no that. one that you wouldn't know as Cromwell's son is there. I definitely was like, he's, this is, <laughs> he was born some time ago. <laughs> like, uh, uh, he's uh, got yeah. a lot of temper I'll in him. I'll take the 10,000 new and I'll totally find this guy. <laughs> um, so, uh, Elsie takes off with Cal, her friend, like, before Where are you it gets going? too early. We just, what? Where are you going? We're just gonna go hang out. Oh, uh, okay. Um, we should talk later okay. about stuff. Are you okay? I mean. I mean, that's a stupid question. We, we both know that's not probably the case. You know, I'm plugging along. Cool, um, just plug in like, well light areas that, <laughs> with your gun. I'll be safe. You know, he really cared about you. Like, that's stupid for me to say, but like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So y'all head out? Yeah. Um, yeah, and Elsie will resurface like a while later with a tattoo. <laughs> so it's pretty, like, she's not like covering it up or anything, but you notice that uh, where the White Tree brand normally would be, she has a tattoo of sharks riding bears and bears riding sharks. Yeah. Good. Uh, so, wake ends a little bit. Another day or so passes, and Miss J will send kind of a follow up message. Um, if you're available, or whoever's available, I have some information to pass on that I think you'd like to hear or need to hear. Where exactly should we meet? Uh, well, the normal place I would suggest isn't available. Um, so she'll offer just another kind of generic meat location. It'll be like a coffee shop or something. 24-hour um, cafe. 
Like, I will not be the one with the blue hair. What? That's probably a thing I should do. <laughs> she knows you're not right. really, like, she's not a particularly subtle looking person. Right. She's oh, not as flashy as Fang. There's but, a disguise. Yeah. Okay. It's not like a particularly elaborate disguise. But unless anyone does anything beforehand, um, you'll head over there. She'll be in like a sort of alcove back area. Um, smart wig on. It's good to see all of you. It's good to see you too. Um, again, I... Sorry, the past can't really be changed, but the future is rapidly approaching. Um, presuming you're still involved in the Hand of Dusk, which I don't think you're not, there are some things that we have found out. Um, through both the sprite, I was able to, not sprite, yeah, sprite. I was like, that's a, forgot what Technomancers things are called. Um, that I was able to plant on the program that you uploaded to the Pacific Rim facilities, as well as some of our other research that will start putting together the puzzle of what we think they're doing. Uh, we've investigated the launch from Secondi, which indicates that a heavily armed space station has recently entered orbit, specifically a space station that, as far as we can tell, also has its own Gaia sphere. What? <laughs> a magically capable, heavily armed space station is now in space without any known owner, at least we assume it is the Hand of Dusk. So this was the, this was the space station that was launched out of the Secondi facility that I investigated? Yes. Likely involving the magic technicians from Magitech. That we didn't save. So this The was... space station would presumably allow several magically awakened individuals or creatures to sustain their existence for an extended period of time in space. Do we think there is a dragon on this space station? Currently, no. We have no indication. The dragon, any individual would still struggle getting into the space station, given they would still have to leave this guy's sphere and enter the other one. Uh, the station's one is going to be less powerful than anything here on Earth, just given its size. We do know that the station, based on what we can presume of how it is armed, does have the ability to attack and potentially destroy a number of other facilities in space, including Ares Apollo Station, Aztec the Spindle, and the Zurich Orbital. Are you kidding me? No. Like, why hasn't anybody caught this so far? I am incredibly certain that the AAA corporations are also moving on this. When you say moving, do you yeah, mean go like solve this. the problem? Well, it depends on whether or not... Let's just put it this way. Say you were a AAA corporation, and suddenly there was a space station that was heavily armed and had magical capabilities. What would you want to do with it? Blow it up. My brother would want to steal it. Take control of it. See, we're too much like So their priority is likely going to be to capture it, and if that fails, destroy it. You just gotta be a worse person else. Uh, for those of you who are out of, unaware, out of character, uh, the Zerk Orbital is specifically where the Mega Corporation's AAA headquarters essentially are. It is the location of the corporate court. Oh, so they could like threaten it and then be like, this is mine. Suckas. Wait a minute. So, so best case scenario. I don't know. This space station is like taken out by one of the other corpse who just turns around and uses it for their own devices. Best well, case that depends. Off. Best case scenario is that the station is somehow entirely destroyed. We are not, to be clear, asking you to do that. What we still don't know when and where anyone is moving. I don't like where this is going. What? No one does. Why are we in this meeting? Like, there's got to be, like... <laughs> Let me get to that. I wanted you to have this information to help you make the decisions for whatever you choose to do next. Uh -huh. The other piece that you probably would like to know, which leads more directly into the Hand of Dusk, is the nature of the program that you uploaded to Pacific Rim's facilities, and therefore the entire grid in Seattle, is essentially a noise generator. 
significant noise generator, oh, enough to no. shut down all long distance communications, in other words, between here and anything in space and anything outside of the city. So they're going For a period of time. They're going to turn this on and then threaten Seattle. Like, like. They have a lot of options. They could threaten the city, they could threaten a space station. We don't know exactly what we're going to do with it. All we know is we don't like anybody and. I personally don't like anybody being in control of a heavily armed magical space station. Dragon or corporation. Uh, Which is to say, I'm fairly certain the Hand of Dusk is going to be making their moves soon. I, I think I go back with Elsie. Why are you telling us all this? Like, do you? Because you are currently working for them and yeah. they will involve you in whatever their well, final move there's is. There's gotta be people higher up than us. They've got Zoros. People who have ju- the grappling hook guys or women. They have I don't a limited actually- number of those. I don't know exactly what they're going to do, but I wanted you to have as much information as possible. And if the opportunity arises that somehow we can stop either of these two scenarios, know that you have our support. What does support mean in this case? Financial support, moral support, anything that I can personally do or anyone else. Yay, moral support. I'm not really I'm not really up for an Armageddon right now. I'm not particularly interested in that either. We're down like, But information is powerful. It's better to make an informed decision than a stupid one. No, we appreciate you letting us know, but I mean this is crazy. Like we're not we're not like equipped to deal with cosmic threats. We're literally down twenty percent. It's a big twenty two. It's yeah, the it's largest more like twenty. Thirty percent. 20% like, of the work power, like 40% of the, the mass. mass. All right, all right, all right. Again, this is not me asking you to go destroy a station. This is me giving you information so that whatever move you make next, you can make it. Maybe you decide that you want out entirely and you choose to leave the Metroplex. That's your choice. But I want what is... I didn't want anything bad to happen to any of you. Not more recently. I didn't really know you at the beginning and you were runners and you were an asset. You have shown yourself to be more than that. So make your decisions with as much information as I am able to give you. Okay. And be very careful. Everyone keeps saying that. There's very big forces at play. <laughs> and I think you underestimate how important you are. I wouldn't have continued to work with you if you were merely adequate. <gasps> Nadia was actually very impressed with you. <laughs> Good luck. Let me know if I can help. Thanks. She'll leave. Stay safe. <sighs> oh, the, the tab is covered. <laughs> like she oh. <laughs> That's the financial support that she was talking about from the Draco Foundation. I almost forgot about the Hand of Dusk with everything going on. I haven't. God. So we just sit around and wait to be caught up? Sit around and wait to maybe get nuked from orbit or? I don't like waiting. I don't like reacting to things. Then we need to make a choice. Well, what can we do? I'm reading the comment. That wasn't for anyone else. (laughs) (laughs) Make your face. Uh, By the way, we have Edge. Oh! Yay! I am tracking it because I know how important Edge is to us in staying alive. (laughs) You guys, I can't go to space if, like, that's where the hand of dusk wants us to go. Mages, emotionally die or physically. In space. Okay. To be clear, you could technically go to this space station. <laughs> Are you someone in the room <laughs> telling me this? I mean, technically, if it's the hand of dusk, maybe their spaceship also has a Gaia sphere. They would have had to figure that out. We don't even it's... know if hand of dusk is the one with this, like this space station. Like this could be like some like leg of truth that just is like a part of all of this. <laughs> Like of sunrise. 
Now that's who Lottie works with now. <laughs> Is it just a bunch of people who have at least lost one life? Yeah. <laughs> she has her own uh, runners group that's like. This is all people with cyber Lol. Legs. And it's L O L L I. Lolly, but not me. That's worse. Let's change our mind. <laughs> this is so weird. What? Well, I mean, when I was in Sekondi, I escorted Chairman Demure. He thought he was Chairman Demure back to, well, the Metroplex after going a roundabout way. It was pretty obvious he had been brainwashed. Like, the what same kind of brainwashing that we ran into. What was that guy's name? The one you hate so much? You mean the... This, no, uh, uh, the, the as technology dude? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, that... Hmm? It doesn't work for... Uh, Quamet. Quamet? Quamet never did mind control magic. No, I'm thinking of the... I want to say um, Gustav. But... Yeah. Yeah. I know who you're thinking oh. of. Yeah, I'm just not going to give you the name. I want to see if anyone can figure uh, it out. Silver Fox. Yeah. Wait, that jerk. Silver who, Fox. Who are we talking about? I the, hate a lot of people. A Akemi. Right? Akemi. 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 Oh, you mean Bill? Bill! Yes. Oh, oh, Akemi. Oh, oh, I hate that guy. I hate this that guy. This is all canon. This is all canon. He still owes me an apology. I, we still need to punch Grace Castillo in the face. We There's have a been... lot of people that need to be punching in the face. So is I mean, that our we, choice, uh, just like punching people in the face? I mean, look here. The, the world is ending, so might as well go crazy. I, I gotta be honest, you know, part of me wants to just get out of Dodge and run, but I'm also, a bigger part of me is just through with running, and I, I'll take the fight to them. Like, I'm, I'm ready, especially if it's that Bill guy. Oh, he is gonna Do we have his number? Do we have the you hand? You knew where his office was. Like, of you have a way to number. contact them. But do we want to, like, just do this now? Schedule a meeting? Yeah. No. Or I, grab him? No, I yeah, mean, like, I, let's just schedule a I meeting. He knows Elsie's, who we are. Yeah, well. We're not going to, like, let's be honest. If we can have him, he will murder us because he's magic. And uh, we don't have our mage killer anymore. I think we, I, I think we have to just be ready, right? Like yeah. oh. we know the hand of desk, will, but let's be proactive. Like the hand of desk is gonna want to use us at some point, and I think we now know, like, like we can't let them get any further in whatever plan they've got. If this is their plan, yeah. Like a, like a. Why? <laughs> like I, I, I'll put out a feeler to that Batman guy from the Matrix. The and Void. Maybe... The Reaper. <laughs> I, I, you know, he, he'll know what to do with that. You know, yeah. they're not expecting us to come for them. You know, I like this. And if we have to run afterwards, <laughs> like, I mean, we should. Give me a minute. Let me. I can actually plan for us to have Dragon. a get out plan. What? Really? So, where would we go? Let's just say there's a warship off the <laughs> Pacific coast that I might have codes for. <laughs> I'm sorry, that... say again? I can't say anymore. That's all I need. Let's <laughs> Wait. There's a warship and what we're not going of, there now? What kind of this is is this like a, a water based or like an is the space what water. Okay. I would so... I would rather go to space than be in water. I'll be very clear. No, water's um, great. Yes. Sharky loves it. Unless there's anything else you guys are going to do, uh, no. specifically at this moment, that it's going to involve me tearing off this entire page. <laughs> well, I'm just getting the Sometimes it's not clear what you're goading us into. I know. Like, so. did you, like, I actually yeah. liked that we didn't, like, we're like, let's just go punch Bill in the face. I mean, I have, I, like, the pro, never mind. You're in a um, game now, it's for It's for after the final run. No, it's yeah. fine. Um, it's fine. Already yeah. talks about all the times we screwed up our plans. It's not that many. Let it's not as many as you think. Um, so, presumably, if you, even if you call them and are like, we would like to meet, <laughs> they will give you no response. They are not going to come meet you on your terms. Mfa mm would like to um, meet with yeah, the we hand of We cordially invite you to a no, meeting of the last will No, but we're going to like... We're gonna go you're, talk to our contacts. Is Grace so, always surrounded by somebody? I assume I spent at least three like, hours. Yeah, you okay. probably stalked her. Remember that one time when I tased her? That was great. So eventually, you will, surprise, surprise, get contacted by the Hand of Dusk. Oh, by oh. Um, And they will tell you they have a job for you. 
Thanks, we are. Great. They would like to meet you, um, and they'll probably give you a location. Again, they'll probably meet you in Volunteer Park because they're. <laughs> Can we? Grace really likes pointing out that you can't get into the S Technology Building. Well, I mean, Volunteer Park. Oh, yeah, it's different than the last part we yeah, went to. Yeah, it's Discovered Park. Okay, oh, that's, okay. that's, that's, like, that's a little bit. Yeah. The one, it's the one that's right near the triangle. Okay. The pyramid, sorry. It's a oh. 3D triangle. Sure. What? Um, no, I, I presume you'll feel, you'd feel more comfortable in, out, in an outdoor location. Yeah. Well, having a space station kind of puts a little <laughs> bit of a damper on that. Um, no. More secure. And they don't necessarily know that you know they yeah, have a space. They don't. They don't know that you know that they know that you know. Yeah. Hey, guys, guys, mums the word. We also don't know if it's station. theirs. I'm also, still specifically. Don't bang. mention the warship. Yeah, definitely. I have definitely on bang. your board written leg of truth as spaceship. <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> the, Maggie, the you draw like a little she leg. Talks, they won't understand it anyway. If if you do, I have your consent. If you start talking about. Space stations to use the silence. Only spell on you. for space stations. Okay. Or warships. Only of warships. Okay. But if I go to punch Grace, you have to buff me. Oh, please. Absolutely. Okay. Like No, the, I will. The code word? Well, we can do that right now. <laughs> it won't be a code word, you'll be silent. We need to review code words. The code word is gonna be one of these. And right. I'm gonna go. Cause I it was just put it out, it's silence. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, so, no. so uh, absolutely. You, you head so. to Discovery Park, and she's probably waiting by like the the um, near the reservoir kind of area where the art museum is. Um, just sitting there, you can see there are two people directly with her, but you can imagine that she's got a couple of others as well. Um, it's nice to see you again. Again, I I'm sorry. It's very kind. Yeah, we hear that a lot lately. That's normal. I don't want it from you. It happens. I suppose it's the price of being a runner. We have a job for you. It's a relatively simple job. You're one of a few different groups we are going to be working with this time. Um, the job is going to be out in the Redmond Barrens, involving protecting a location. Mm. We're working with a couple other runner groups. Mm -hmm. Are they all in the same location, or are we all distributed against it? Locations? You will all be in the same location. Um, you are going to be our primary security force around this location, along with some of our other members. Um, many of us will be engaged in other things at the time. Inside the building? Yes. Wait. Redmond Barons, so are you hitting the same target? We're not hitting the target. We are utilizing the target. It's our facility. Well. We are so. Okay. What kind of uh, an encounter can we be expecting? Here? Well, it's the Redmond Baron, so our main concern is that uh, we might draw attention by being there, and um, gangs of the area, uh, I mean, that might be a sore spot for you, um, gangs in the area, potentially some rogue mages or other forces. We're not anticipating anything particularly large, um, but we know it might draw some attention to ourselves. But... but there's You're still risk. hiring multiple runner groups. There's always risk. For... Well, and some of you are what? not as many as you were. What's your timeline? 24 hours. To, to in, protect or? In the event. Uh, we anticipate the amount of time will be anywhere between six to 12 hours. 12 would be the absolute most. That would be meaning several things have gone wrong. We're looking more at about the six hour range. That includes giving you time to establish yourself before uh, the majority of our forces show up. Give you time to assess the situation, become aware of the environment, establish whatever security networks with the other groups you would like to establish. Are there any resources at our disposal? Uh, you will have a small number of our forces to assist. Any artillery? Uh, we can, we're planning on providing probably two turrets on the top of the building that you'll be able to access and utilize. How many other rather runners are we talking about? Right now we're looking at contracting with two other groups. Smaller groups. You might have known, known, known one of them. I hear they've worked with you before. Well, worked might be a... No, not them. Um, Zoro? You met them on a trip to Atzlan. Granny's folks. Oh my goodness, Granny's folks. They don't like us. They're also good people. Wait, is Juanette gonna be there? No. Mm -hmm. Well, Matt only works for us. Oh, but Grace, 
Grace works for us technology, technically. We're not bringing in us technology forces. This is not an us technology job. <laughs> Other than yourself, of course. I'm technically not, thanks. I suppose it never really leaves the blood, does it? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna need a dossier on who else we're working with. I need to know their strengths uh, and weaknesses. That's up to you to get from them. We would like right, names. Right, so I need a contact name. You will be able to meet them when we give you the location. That's why we're arranging for you to be there before we are. Well, <sighs> It'd be really great if we actually knew what we were walking into. Places. I don't know, I can't like plan for a security perimeter without actually knowing, like. That's why you'll have time. I don't think she's gonna be much more forthcoming, Elsie, than she already is. Grace. Ellie. I'm, I'm gonna placate to whatever little heart you have left. Uh, we just lost somebody. I am aware. And they were, let's be honest, our strongest. If you want us to actually do our job and do it right, listen to what she's saying and give us a name. Can I add my intimidation role to your own? You can roll me intimidation. Okay, well this isn't gonna go well. I rolled three. Four. So I got one but glitched. Final runs off to a good start, fellas. <laughs> um you uh instead of, like um please you, no, then and then like you turn around and you want to mouth fuck you, but you forget that you actually say it out loud. You're like, God, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's Just fair. Give me the signal. Let's thing. make this clear. Give me the signal. You worked with these individuals. If you would like to find out more information about them, their group's name is Callista. <laughs> You're Callista? certainly entitled to look up information about them, but it's not my do- job to divulge that information about them beyond that they're a team of Shadowrunners that we're also hiring. We're providing you with forces to assist does, you in doing a job. Does that technology ever do any manager training? I don't think you would like their sort of training. No. So while I am certainly hoping for your success, given that it is rather important to us, there is a reason why we will be giving you this location prior to our first group arriving to give you time to set up, to understand and evaluate the strengths and weaknesses of the people that you are working with and establish a security perimeter. Okay. You understand? Yep. Great. Uh, so you'll be working with Callista and then um, the other group that we, was Artemis Blue. They're a smaller group, they're only two. There's a reason why we, we figured two of them would make up for your loss. Okay. Wait. Yeah, no, no. We... Wait. All right. I will contact them. Uh, Jane does that in character. <laughs> Whispers really quietly. I want to know about payment. I was wondering if you would bring that up. Normally, Try. runners lead with that. <laughs> I figured if I could get away with free services, I'd certainly try. We'd like to understand all the parameters before we agree on a price. That yes, that's me. usually what they train you to do. And if you go through any sort of training on management or team leadership or any sort of upper corporate level work. Well, so I you hope know. someday you'll get there. Man, Man, two burns and she still hasn't gotten that I'm burning her. Uh, so, because she's not gonna go well for it. 25,000 each. 50. We can not provide some of our own forces then. That seems reasonable. If you're going to, we're paying you the additional, we'll leave off the turrets. 50,000 and no turrets. turrets. We'll have about a dozen you of You want forces. turrets? You want turrets? My coworker wants turrets. Oh, and 25,000 with the turrets. Wait, will they have matrix connections? So your people that you're supplying. Well, you've certainly fought some of them before. So we're talking Zoros? No, the Zoros, as you like to call them, will be providing escort. Oh. We will be having two groups entering the facility. We will, uh, we have 
like, what's up? This is this is your. We will communicate to you through a, this comm link to indicate when those groups are arriving. Those groups will be allowed into the building. No other groups should be allowed in, unless we provide very explicit communication otherwise. And this is a facility. So you expect this to, facility to be under your control very soon? Yes. Okay. There isn't really anyone in possession of things in the in the Redmond Barrens. We're Specific, mostly just establishing. Specifically, what I'm asking is if we have to fight our way in, or is this just about protecting the just facility? Just protecting the perimeter. Thank you. You will, when you arrive there, when we give you the location, uh, our forces will already be on site. Okay. Okay. All right. What time? Twenty-four. Oh, a little over twenty-four hours. It'll. Uh, begin. What time did I write down? Did I want it to start? Um, let's be nice, even though it's summer. I'll give you some time. So it won't immediately be sundown when you arrive. Uh, 4 p.m. Okay. Tomorrow. All right. We've got a lot of work to do then before our call time. We'll give you the location at 3. Okay. Um... Well, and if there's no... And, uh, the first the first arrival will be then at 6 p.m. So you'll have somewhere between 5.30 and 6 p.m. Okay. Is our window. You'll have about an hour and a half to two hours to set up and establish your perimeter. All right. I think that's everything I have. It's going to be a bright future tomorrow. Question? I would like to challenge you to another match. Is that possible after this match? After this thing? I think anything's possible in 24 hours. Well, let's make it 48 just to be safe. But then, uh, yes. It's definitely, that's corporate talk. No. That's you, corporate no. talk for no. When you say, say a bright future, I mean, you said that kind of in this ominous way. Care to elaborate? She sort of smiles. And there's that little bit of that glaze that you haven't seen kind of in a while comes over her eyes. He will rule. And then she gets up and walks away. Okay. So I hope we regroup at a place where we can talk freely. Can we put up a Zoom, Zoom me in. noise generator? Yeah, we can put up a noise Jammer. generator where we can just go back to the war room. So. I knew that you guys have a war room. <laughs> oh my god, why are there people so punchable? That's all I can see whenever I see like one of them is I just see this like punching bag with cartoon eyes. If you look over and, to like, the right, there's the punching bag. <laughs> it's got her face yeah. on it. Well, so, it's more high height, but it's definitely got... Yeah, so, I, we're not gonna... We're gonna we're gonna talk about that some other time. Okay, but, I just uh, thought that... I wanted the turrets because I feel like no amount of money is worth losing somebody else right now. I want to float an idea. Listening. Float it like on a warship that floats. So, I mean, at this point, we're just trying to thwart the Hand of Dusk no matter what, right? We don't know for sure if the Hand of Dusk is the one who sent the magic spaceship in the air. Yeah, we're, we're pretty sure that they sent the magic it's spaceship. It's like an 85%. There's also the concern of if it remains there, who gets possession of it. Right. Yeah. So you know, thwarting the hand is one. The like. I feel like so goals. here's what I'm thinking. I feel like we got a pretty good breakdown of who their forces are going to be there. She's hired known runner groups to assist us in setting up a security perimeter. So what are the odds that we can convince those other two runner joint? groups to join us in not only not establishing a security perimeter, but to actively wreak havoc for whoever is coming into that facility in that window. That's what I was saying. They don't have turrets to defend themselves against us. That's good for us. If you're gonna I mean, it's basically them. suicide if we do that. But... I don't know about that. I mean, it depends on who... Our part of Callista and Artemis Blue. How many runners we're talking? We already know Callista. We know they're escorting someone, it sounds like. Or something, right? Zoros are escorting. Right, so I Zoros wonder, are bad news. I wonder if there's a way we could find out what they're like 
eavesdrop on whatever it is that's going on in there. That's information what I really more powerful know. than yeah. Well, I think we should definitely get this information to Miss J. Well, Callista's, I'm gonna be very real with you, pretty soft. Like they were gonna kill an entire town for one. I guess I would no, I guess not, because that was just their job. We don't actually know how nice, they might be in it for the money. They gave us some trouble on the road. Zoro's or Callista? I mean, if it's just an issue of money, anybody <laughs> can just be bid higher, right? I don't know. I mean, I'm open to ideas. I think we it would be, we can't assume that they're just being hired. We have to assume they've gone through the same process we have. But we also didn't have like sparkly cult like, vision. Yeah, right? Like, like so, she did that thing again. Yeah, we never had that happen. Like, have you seen me do that? No. That's okay. a good question. Has anyone seen anyone do it? Because you might not remember it if you've done it. Oh. I didn't yeah. even think, like you wouldn't yeah. know that you your brain was. Magic's wacky like that. <laughs> wait, can, how? Do, wait, okay. One, I have like point three essence. Doesn't affect my. It doesn't affect any spells except health spells. By the way, I'm very hazy yellow. Like I'm <laughs> almost invisible in the astral plane at this point. It's not really what happens that's when not, you have no that's essence. That's not a thing. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that's, I'm pretty sure hashtag Claudia rules. That's how it works. Again, yeah, to be clear. <laughs> Claudia has no concept of how Astral Vision works. So, uh, is there any specific things you guys are going to do between now and when you get to the location? At I don't know, guys. I, I kind of feel we just have to stay on our toes and be ready to react to whatever information we can get. And In the moment, if we can get them to split off, I think that's our best bet. Like, if we contact them beforehand, we could get taken off. We could never get the, you know, if they change the coordinates, they could, they could block us, but... I mean, Elsie. Once the operation is in play, we had the Hand of Dusk vulnerable. They know that they have admitted they need us to keep a security perimeter. That. So you think it's better to not contact the other runners? I mean, I, I think we should at least look them up and know who we're absolutely. dealing with. Absolutely. I think that's and and you know we can I, I can run around on Jackpoint Scan and see if any of them are logged in, but not necessarily approach them for a um, a, a mutiny. Just yeah. Yet. Before we know. What well, and if there's anybody with. that we think has been brainwashed, we should just plan on taking them out completely. What's worse is this might just be set up for what's eventually going to happen, right? We don't, we don't know this is the last mission. We might be undercover for like months or years, right? I don't think we have that much time. She said something about tomorrow. Yeah. yeah but like, I think this Tomo is it. I think this is the big rule. trigger event. Tomorrow. The, like, I mean, it was in another order, but that was essentially what she said. I get the impression that, like, like they're doing a coup of Seattle, or, like... Then we pro I mean, we probably need to get a good night's sleep, then. We gotta get what, sorry? A good night's sleep. <laughs> oh, a good night's sleep. Yeah, no, I can like you, that. I thought you said a good exit. Can you, can you pop was... over to Miss J? I think that's probably the yeah, fastest way that. to let her know. You know, I mean, quietly. If we have any sort of like evacuation situation, Draco Foundation is going to have to lead that probably. All right, I'll astrally project and I'll reach out to Miss J and just in, I'll just keep her informed of everything that we've been told. Ah! Oh. Stop doing that, Mordecai! Please. Oh, you mean the? Whole... I will get someone to put a barrier around this office. No, but it's this is good. This way, I can let keep you up to date. Oh, we got. There's there's. I know you have a hard time. Never mind. Yes. Well, the the there's going to be some kind of thing in the Redmond Barrens that the Hand of Dusk is doing. They've hired us and some other groups in order to defend it. They're they're saying it's just from gangs and whatnot, but I don't buy that in the least. Oh, there is a lot of gangs in the Barrens. The Barrens isn't a particularly safe location for anyone, but, but there, it is out of the way. Whatever's whatever's coming, it's coming tomorrow. That's, Be careful. they made that clear. The likelihood is they will shut down communications tomorrow, well, whenever they need it to happen. They can't shut this down, can they? So my huh? friends slipped yeah. You are also currently unconscious, so. Yeah, but Be I mean, I, we're communicating. Oh. Yes, I'm just saying that you, I don't know how big the range is or how isolated you might become. Well, we'll keep that in mind. Good luck. In a, in a dead drop that they have established on Jack Point, <laughs> yeah. mainframe will we'll leave for Miss Jaya a 
coordinates of an, sort of an unlabeled file that yeah. she will update with GPS coordinates when she has them. Great. This, uh, if, if she can get it out before any blackout. There's nothing else. It's just a file that she can check to get GPS coordinates. Cool. And if she walk, puts a sprite on it, she'll know when it's changed. Yeah, that's probably what she will do. I feel like we're actually legit today. Super legit. We like, definitely didn't punch our uh, fixer in the face, so that that was but I feel good like self control by all. Yep. Um, Elsie uh, would probably ask for mainframe's help in getting a dossier on the other runners and just seeing like, who's in the I assume this is an extended matrix mm-hmm. perception test. Cool. I didn't write any of their names down, so we'll figure that out. Um, so you spend a little bit of time digging around the matrix to various levels of success, I presume. Very slow. Eleven hits. Um, so you're able to pull, um, Callisto is easy, or Callisto, sorry, is, um, easier to find some information about there. Uh, they have way less notoriety than you do <laughs> as a group. <laughs> Uh, a reasonably good reputation in terms of being like runners that are fairly reliable, tend to get their job done. They don't tend to do wet work. Um, you haven't seen anyone hire them for that, although they don't explicitly say that they don't. Um, they are fairly standard in composition. There are five of them, Mage, uh, Decker, Face, Trigger, Street Sam, sort of normal lineup um, based on what you've encountered. Um, you can anticipate that they'd probably be roughly on par with kind of you would your experience. Um, they've been together a little bit longer as a group than you all have um, in various combinations. Um, uh, Blue Art or, or sorry, Artemis Blue is um, they're a smaller group. They you think that they might be um, they're pretty specific. Most of the stuff people know about them is like related to um, like the uh, more more information gathering. Um, one of them's a mage. Uh, one of them's a Decker, so they're but they're pretty. Their their reputation is good, but their notoriety is really low. So like anyone who's worked with them would have positive things to say, um, but it's a lot harder to dig up some information about them. Seems a weird build for a security force. It's a lot a of light on the firepower. I had the same thought. I mean, where's a lot of. Mm. You also know Mages, that they're, they're going to be face, providing there's... about a dozen of their groups of Hand of Dusk clones right. as well. Possibly more. You want to for sure tell you Yeah, because you said they've got like two mages, two deckers, a face, and a depth, and a Sam. <sighs> two other deckers. Two mages. That's not going to go well. So. <laughs> I just realized we haven't worked with another Decker, really. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's weird. Well, they, especially because I'm not here again. Well, there's nothing we can do about it. You just noted that it's strange. Let's think. Makes me think that the threat is less brute force, but maybe, I mean, maybe Hand of Dusk has enough of their own troops. They're not. Just a lot of squishies, you know? And no riggers? One rigger. Oh, rigger. Close oh. to has a rigger. Yeah, that's what that last one was. Hmm. Callisto is basically the most standard runner group really? composition. I thought yes. we were standard. No, normally you would not have a fizz adept, you would have a, a rigger instead. Oh. It's pretty normal. Or you might have someone else double as one. But yeah, it's. I thought we were perfect. You're relatively we're, standard. A six person we're group. We're a snowflake. Would be. I mean, most groups are built around kind of a six person with a fizz adept. Um, and a rigger. It's the two additional groups. Well, wrist up. Also, mages are a lot of firepower. Yeah, but yeah, there's but not they, that many of them. There, there, are, there are three, including Mordecai. Mages so. are kind of weak to bullets, though. Like, bullets are super effective. Squish, squish. That That's hurts why they my feet. Mages. Don't step in front of bullets. I don't step in front of them. I know because I block you all the bullets. You step in front of them. Uh, they find me. I'm almost magnetic, and I like pick something <laughs> up with my hand. Not serious. Not almost. So, uh, 3 p.m. rolls around. Unless you guys did any other investigating, no. you get a location out in the right. Redland Barrens. Uh, it's relatively remote um, presence for you. 
I'm going to bring Ooh. all my guns. All my guns and ammunition yeah. are in this, this nice? car. We don't have to pretend like we're not going. We can bring all the shit. Yeah, like I'm like Dinah with the cannon. Weeping Willow's Elsie's rogue, like, really. <laughs> got a grenade. I have five Best now stuff. guns that are now there. <laughs> That's what they, they uh, happily, they call it Weeping Willow's Road now. As like Elsie's <laughs> like putting all the grenades and the ammo on her. Two swords. Um, She's like, so, oh, by the way, guys, I I kind of forgot to tell everybody, but um, I passed my GED. Oh my God. Oh. Yeah. Did you let William know? Yeah, I did. Yeah, no, I mean? kind of, I kind of forgot about it. But congratulations! Thanks. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, you know what? On the way there, you get to decide where we get to eat because we would celebrate afterwards. But you know, we might all be dead. Yeah. Let's oh. not die. Okay. That was bad. I'm getting. I've yeah. hung out with more to hide a lot. Okay. This last week. I'm pretty depressing. So, uh, you arrive at the location. Uh, right around the same time, the, um, other, the other people seem to be arriving. You notice that there is, um, there are two, there you can see. The turrets are on top of the main building. Um, they're at kitty corner to each other. Wait, where? Uh, so they are, in, they are on the, the largest building. and D2? Uh, B2 and oh, B2 and D4. D4, I guess, is what I decided. Um, so the turrets are kitty corner to each other. Uh, it's top of the building. Um, you will see. It's actually a sign. I want to show the internet, but I'll see you. So you see about uh, twenty uh, relatively normal-looking grunts. Like we would, they they are actually all like, if you look too closely at their face, any of them who don't have helmets on, they're like uncannily similar to each other, but they're not identical. Um, you, you, you are like, your memory digs back into like, these look like they look really close to Arislin, the former CEO of Siwashe. Oh, um, they're clones, guys. But they're not. Arislin cl- cousins. Cousins, right. They, they look really similar, but not exactly identical, but like God, that to the point, like they are all, they're all essentially dressed the same. Um, you also see there is, uh, one, um, person who's in the like kind of full on, uh, Zoro suit, so they seem to have like their their leader, um, in essence, who right now is talking with um, these other two women who are um, standing there. One of them is fairly nondescript. She's got kind of a short brown bob, um, full armor or not like full like coming well armed, um, and another one similar. You can see kind of like the peak of an afro curl um, under a hood. Um, there's another van that looks similarly well armed to Dinah. You might recognize it. <laughs> it's got like a couple of scratch marks like that have been like dinged out of it uh, that you may have fought alongside on a highway. Uh, and you recognize them. They're, uh, they're the, the, Callisto, the Callisto group, they're Callista. Uh, I need to get the name. Can you like refresh what they look like? Or I'm not even 100% sure how I described all of them Do at the time. Do one of them have the golden arm? No. Okay. That that is the guy from the fighting underground fighting ring in England. I know, but I thought maybe he had joined Callista. No. Not, okay. not. No, I'm really sorry that he didn't, because I kind of wish he had now for you. That would have been great. Yeah. Um. So uh, he there is. Um. You can like if you're sensing any of them, you can tell one oh, of yeah. the two uh, that's talking with the leader. Um. She definitely has the stance of someone who's a mage. Oh, like she's a mage as far as you can tell, but she's like sort of speaking with some authority to, um, the the leader of the clones um there is the other mage with the callisto group um everyone else is mundane to all degrees look mages um that one's a face mage i think the the street sam is uh, from like the other group i think what did i decide he had and, uh, i think he mostly just had um I don't know if, I don't think he has cyber arms. No, he does. Um, his is arms. He also has cyber arms. Um, they're like <laughs> not quite the synthetic ones, but they, they're like fairly snazzy or newer looking ones. Um, like clearly he's taken some like care and attention into them. <laughs> um, like he's got, like he's got full body, ar- or like, like full armor on, but he's clearly removed the sleeves. I feel that. And there's armor plating on his arms and like some LED lights in them. He is not subtle. Um, oh. Uh, but like the lights are off right now, but you're like, I know what that looks like. 
<laughs> when he punches, does air just release out of him? Like the mage has already summoned a guardian spirit mm-hmm. who is uh, like just sort of standing there, like a large stone statue with a giant sword, just sort of observing the location. And everyone seems to be fairly busy, like busying themselves with stuff, except like the clones who are all like just standing there, like in regimented like troops, essentially. Um, at some point, unless you approach them, um, the Zoro will take half of the clones and then the the mage will take kind of take the other half and start positioning them around. What do I see in the matrix? Um, you see the two uh, turrets right now. Um, they are, interestingly enough, they are like inviting marks, but they are also clearly owned by someone else. So you are going to be able to control them, um, but you'd have to take the time to turn, like to actually scrub the ownership from them and make them yours. Um, so someone else could potentially boot you off and control them. Um, you see obviously the van, uh, various lots of smart linked weapons and guns pretty much everyone. Um, all of the clones are pretty well armed. Uh, they've all got at least two guns on them, uh, both, both of which would be smart linked. Uh, the, uh, the location itself otherwise is very sparse. Um, there's no cameras, there's no, like it's, it was, you can kind of sense that it was a stripped warehouse. Like at some point this was a warehouse facility that has been completely stripped. Uh, there was almost nothing there, it was picked clean. Um, and they probably so kicked out a bunch a of- black hole. Yeah, they probably uh, kicked out a bunch of squatters, which is what they meant by acquiring the location. They just needed somewhere out of the way and just were like, shoot, get out, it's ours now. Tell us about the building. Uh, The building itself is uh, currently empty, the largest one. That's the one that they will indicate, like this is the one that we're mostly guarding. There are two smaller ones next to it. They are also stripped and empty. There's no one squatting in them currently. You do see some like evidence, especially on like astral signatures that there were probably people living here. Uh, at some point. Um, The other two buildings are like remnants of dilapidated kind of offices. Um, You could potentially set up, they've got some boarded up windows, some like glass kind of broken up windows. So you could potentially set up in one of those. The roofs on both, on all of the buildings in this area are flat um, and about three stories high in this area here. There's a couple a little bit farther away that are like maybe four or five stories, but you're not looking at any of them. This one is pretty much an empty warehouse. They want us to guard an empty warehouse mm-hmm. next to two other empty rooms. They're going to deliver something inside. Mm-hmm. And then you need to continue guarding it. Okay. Are they going to launch something from in here? You don't know what they're totally going to do. You just know that they've got two sets of people coming in. What high do you... I mean, they're not like using magic to mask this, like what's here, right? I... Uh, Run an extend. Ex- if you run an extend- yeah. extended one, you will not find anything. Okay. Beyond like residue, astral signatures of people who were once here and various animals who've peed on pretty much every corner. It uh, doesn't. It's not pleasant. Um, this area also does have some level of fluctuating background count. Currently, it's neutral, but there are occasional spikes that will happen. The noise. There is some noise, so you have a hard time communicating beyond like a hundred meters. So if you remain in this block, you'll be fine. You won't have any penalties. But if you like, kind of leave the area of the roads, try and communicate with someone, you'll you'll get some noise, potentially some interference. So guys, I'm going to set up a couple cameras just to That's give us a wider, a wider net. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the, the decker will come up to you. Um, she'll be like, do you, uh, you want turret A and I'll have turret B? Or? All right. Uh, I was thinking of setting up some cameras just to give us a little bit more visibility, which is there. Do you have that any specialties? Or? Like a great idea. I was mostly going to do some inter, uh, surveillance. I'm probably going to hole up and mostly plan on bricking anything that comes near that is not supposed to be with us. Particular hobby of mine too. Yeah, yeah I was thinking of the. I'm going to spend a little time trying to see there. if I can make the noise not quite so terrible. Learn some tricks from a rigor control console. Ooh. I have one of those. I don't remember. Probably not. They're kind of pricey too. I hate to do battle, but if I musk, then I musk. The time to do a job for the Hand of Dusk. One of the mages just kind of looks over at you and just shrugs. And I do a force eight summon. Okay. So I'm gonna put the cameras in the range of each of the turrets so we can okay. see what so we're So you kind of have at. like a nice. Um, and then one pointed on these two exterior mm-hmm. buildings towards each of the access roads from Weeping Yellows. Yeah. 
Um, you'll notice like a couple of other signatures from both of the deckers come up. There's like a bunch of cameras. Uh, one of them will uh, have set up um, what appear to be some motion sensors too. They're nice. like okay. gonna set up some some motion sensors. Um, one of them even to like any alerts from their sensors. Yeah, yeah. And they they they're like so the, the bunch of you like all kind of get together and you're like okay, here's here's what we're doing. Sharon, like the rigger just sort of like. I love these nerds. Like getting their, is... their turret set up, like adjusting the gun, like, yeah, good. And I set up one <laughs> camera in the alley next to them. the buildings too. Nice, okay. Um, so you've got a pretty good camera coverage and they've set some up as well. Um, like your arms. Oh, good. This person is, the, I was gonna ask, who is the person who seems the most fun to talk to? <laughs> uh, um, like, I, I'm gonna like the street fam and the mage. I can give them names, but we're gonna forget all of them. Uh, so I'm gonna refer like, to them by their roles. I, I mean, street Sammy sounds like a great Sammy. Name. Okay, yeah. so we've got Sammy the street Sam. Yeah. This is how I named all my NPCs. I know. Right. Um, so Fang now always wears her helmet, so he's gonna have to take it off to show off all her new ears. But like this is. Oh, where'd you get those done? Um, well, my original guy kicked me out because, you know, I, I stopped oh. taking care of myself, so I found some uh, vet in uh, Pioneer Square. Did you try and take out a something you weren't supposed to? No, I just, I refused to allow someone to pick me up when I was too unconscious, and so they dropped me off. Been there. Anyways, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know what it's like. Uh, <laughs> they're like, these are new. Dink, dink, dink. Oh, <laughs> and I, can, I, can I? Yeah. Like, dink. yeah. Oh, that's a great. Isn't it a great? It's, oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> like, we're just ah. like. <laughs> I'm glad I'm elsewhere. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, a complete segue now. So, you, do you work with the Hand of Dusk? What do you mean by that? Like, do you work with them a lot? We've done some stuff for them, but they pay really good. They do. Can, can I ask you a question? Sure. And like, I'm gonna like, <laughs> like trying to get them to like go all weird. No, I'm just like, hey, have you seen the whole black voomp? Like, what? Like, have you no. ever seen when you talk to like, and the stars will align and health will be good? <laughs> like, you know oh, what I mean? Wow. Like, you don't have cyber eyes. No, but like, hey, I don't, what are you talking about? I'm kind of like, I think there's a cult. Are you in the cult? This is kind of a weird question. Are you asking if I, if I'm in a cult? Are you in this cult? I mean, it's not really a cult. It's kind of a cult, man. What? Weird. S Sammy, like, like I'll bring you in for this. <laughs> <laughs> this cult, do you know anything about the Hand of Dusk? How, how important are you? Um, listen, there is a dragon. Do you know what? what? Oh gosh, I'm, okay, never mind. I'm observing this and I'm ready to cast silence. Uh, I'm just like, okay. Um, I thought this was uh, Battle of Chairs, uh, this book I'm reading right now, so. Uh, oh, I yeah. love books. I love that. Yeah. I'm not good at reading, but I love books. Oh, good. Uh, have you followed the uh, the Firewalkers? This, they're great, they're coming from yeah. the south. Yeah, 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 yeah. this yeah. sounds cool, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Under the trench is <laughs> yeah, under the, the lead throne. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was Fang trying to get information. Did it work? Uh, oh, you get it from the broiest member of the crew. <laughs> yeah. Facing. If you like to know, yep, that's this character's logic. <laughs> my, my logic is three, and I can yep. at least know what's going on. I want to know what his is. Is it zero? You can't have zero. But he's smart. <laughs> Mordecai's not smart. <laughs> He's hey, I get by. really obsessed with statistics for some reason. Yeah. Um, it's really hard to be a face. Great. Uh, anything else? I'll see. Right. You look like you. Yeah. Do I'm, just, I'm going to do that. Okay. Um, Don't do it with, with Sammy. somebody else. Okay. <laughs> Who in particular would you like to talk to? I'm gonna go see about their face. The clusters. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you head over there and. I don't remember if I said they were male or female last time. So let's go with they. Um, and currently they're presenting gender neutral. Great. Um, they're like talking with their, their group and kind of surveying the area. And you notice like they're, you know, checking their, their weapons and things like that. And we weren't told. Oh, sorry, I actually forgot. The face um, is an adept. I misread my sheet. Okay. Close to his face. Um, we weren't given any. <laughs> Staying up late, getting tattoos. Um, what? Okay. 
Um, hi. Hey. I'm Elsie Blackwood. I remember you. Yeah. Like your face. From that time. That was great. Yeah. It was <laughs> great for all of us, didn't it? Yeah. How did that turn out in the end? I heard the city was fine. And yeah. Quarantine lifted and yeah. no one really died. It was kind of impressive. Oh. And we got a message from um, Granny Powell, too. She was doing pretty well. Good. Yeah. I miss Granny Powell. I haven't talked to her for a while. Juliet was really thankful that we got her grandma back. Cool. Um, so, Mfec wasn't given any information about what's coming in. Honestly, we didn't really pry. They're secretive. I don't particularly want to know what they're doing, but they pay well. And they haven't asked us to do wet work to pay the amount that they have been paying. And they're not a corp. Sounds like you've got your reasons straight. We take what we get, and we do the job. We live, we run another day. Yeah, that's the way of it. I mean, that's one way to survive, Then it's been working for us pretty well. Um, listen, I just, when we tried to inquire what this protection racket was about, she waved her hands and said something about like gangs. And yeah, that's mostly the information they gave us. I mean, we did a little bit of casing of the area and found out. I mean, most of the gangs are fighting each other, so unless someone decided to stir them up, right. I can't imagine. But they did say they might be calling attention to them, so we're kind of trying to keep our ear on the ground of what they're doing, just so we know why anyone would want to come here. Well, a word to the wise. I'm pretty sure this is part of some very large plan for a coup of power. So, <laughs> isn't everything in the sixth world? I'm saying, if you're somebody that likes to get paid for jobs, <sighs> this might be a black mark on pay. you for a long time. At least we got half up front. If we need to ditch, we'll ditch. We can't do that. I mean, if <laughs> there is some big fight that ends up happening, I'm sure we can slip out. Yeah, just, you know, watch your people's back. I don't have a good feeling about this at all. Thanks for the heads up. And, you know, for what it's worth, you're part of the protection racket, so we don't really want you to die either. Yeah. Oh. Yep. So some time will pass. Did you want to resolve Sharky or? Oh uh, yeah, sorry. For Sate, thanks. Sorry. I genuinely, keep for reminding me. Uh, I had how many hits. You had? Eight. Wow. Uh, your net hits are four. Uh, all right. Uh, Mega Sharky appears oh, with his no. crab claw and whip. I feel he, like, like goes over and tries to high five the guardian spirit. I feel like he would do that and then he would just like start sniffing around the spirit a lot. And I think it's like, uh, it's like those British guards, you know, where they're uh, they're like all stoic, like, and Sharky is just like, yeah, he like to, tries to imitate him. Yeah, like takes his like little his whip or whatever his yeah, his tail whip. Like <laughs> guardian spirit doesn't laugh. Nope. Guardian spirits. All no right. Fun. No, they're no fun. So you will get a who took the com link from probably me. Probably great. So you'll get a message will come through on the com link that will say um, the first group is arriving. Be ready for them. Um. Okay, I share that with all the folks. The other deckers are like the first crew. <laughs> They're all like the first crew. <laughs> oh, so we didn't even... got hand signals or something. Yeah. <laughs> you said this building is three feet stories tall. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hey, where's everyone gonna stand? I'm gonna be housed. I, I'm, I'm gonna be in one of these smaller buildings in the corner near, so I'm sort of equidistant and passed out. You know what with the VR and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna put that in there. Uh, the uh, clone forces have been relatively evenly dispersed kind of around the building, mostly in pairs, um, sort of patrolling, watching, waiting. I'm probably going to station myself next to mainframes so that uh, I can watch over her. Okay. Uh, so. Wait. I just want to say for canon where we're all going yeah. to be before we can. Um, Some time will continue to pass. 
<laughs> yeah, I think I will stick close because we have so many people. I'm gonna stick close probably to either you or. I'll stick near you, so wherever you want to be. Yeah. Um, wherever we are, I'd like to have some sort of rope already set up down so that I can get to the floor if necessary. Yeah. It's probably an emergency ladder, too, on the roof. Yeah, that's fair. Are you going to be rooftop? Yeah. Okay. Rooftop small that's building sniper's or. Sniper's sniper's I haven't busted me. these out in a while, Does but I was like. Do you want to be in here with me? Don't you need line of sight for your magic? Yeah. Or are you inside? I thought you were outside. So. <laughs> I mean, if if we think it's more strategic, I could go outside. I was thinking of going. No, here. if you're inside, I'll uh, I'll be outside. I'll be on the roof, directly above you. Uh, do you mind if Sharky just makes you less, you know, visible? I welcome it. All right, Sharky is gonna conceal mainframe. Okay. Um, um, I'll see. Changes her face at this point too. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna set up my sniper in the kitty corner of the small building across, so it looks like, like you know, we're what it's like these, like 50 meters across. So um, I can get the LC if necessary, but also my gun is facing towards the Willows Road, so if anything big happens, I can make a shot. Okay, so each of you are on separate small building roofs. No, same no, building. Same kitty, building. Like opposite corner. corners. Okay, and you're both on the small building, the north or south small building. But everyone mainframe's not. Okay, and you're in the She's, other. Small I'm in the south building, okay. uh, northwest corner. Great. Okay. And I'm in the same location, but on the roof. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I just like I want to be canonized it. That way we don't have to think about it before okay. it actually. Uh, when the other group see you set up, kind of mostly in that area, uh, Callista will largely take over like the main building. Um, and you also see like they, you think some of them are still in their van too. Like the rigor is probably oh, just in their van. Smart. Mm. <laughs> Where mm. They are ready to GTFO if they need to. Um, so. Di hmm. Dinah's on this access road here. The South Access Road? But yeah, South Access Road. Uh, uh, but if there's like a driveway down in uh, D6, you'd probably put it there. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, you can get in. There's a driveway into into the it's bottom area. Probably good that we're where we're at though, because we want to see what they're bringing in, right? Mm -hmm. um, so some of the other ones, you see a couple of them are like on the roof and you, uh, you like you sort of lose sight of them at some point unless you're looking for them. Um, so as you see that, uh, a van or a, sort of a motorcade essentially, there are three, well, maybe they need more than that. More than three? Do oh, some quick geez. math, guys. Um, with four, no, three vans, and then uh, some accompanying motorcycles will pull up um, to the building. And as they, uh, and they, they were warned, like they told you this was coming. And so they, they basically essentially drive into the building, like the large uh, docking doors open and they pull the, the vans like disappear and the motorcycles disappear in. A couple of the people on the motorcycles will uh, exit and just kind of stand guard right at the entryway um, on the outside, but everybody else who was in there go past and go inside. Um, you're pretty aware the vast majority of the people being driven in are mages. Guys, they're all mages, or mostly anyway. What? Do I see any activity on the matrix? Mostly no. the vehicles, oh, smart like weaponry. They're gonna do a ritual. You're gonna do a ritual? Is this yeah. blood magic? I don't think it's blood magic. But usually when a bunch of mages gather together like this, it's so that they can cast some kind of spell that uses all of their powers together. Like when they summon the dragon? Yes. Well, the dragon's already out, so what are they gonna do, summon a second dragon? <laughs> so, um, as you notice, you start feeling Probably over the course of about 15 minutes, like the magic in the area will kind of increase. Just the amount of mana is there is sort of surging upwards and increasing as you go. Um, and um, unless you guys choose to we take any immediate one? action, like all of like the other mages all kind of look a little bit concerned. Like one of them who's standing on the building just sort of like looks down and is like, all right, well, I'm sure this is fun. Um, I, I'm gonna like, Quickly astrally project over to like the other mages and just mm -hmm. be like, ritual? guys, guys, this is not cool, right? Well, we don't know what this ritual is. Maybe it's like magic healing or something. <laughs> I don't know. Does, My is job is the, not to ask what the ritual is. I know it's not your job to ask what the, the ritual is, but just ask anyway. I mean, these things are dangerous. So you don't, you don't care? I mean, I guess I care, but 
You don't seem like you care. So sorry. Oh, Jesus Christ. Who? <laughs> <He's>... <laughs> it's no. a long story. Um, so uh, the the kind of mana will surge in the area, and you get this like feeling of all of you are able to feel this, and there's like it, like this pressure build up and a sudden pop, and all of you feel a little bit odd and unsettled. Um, and you realize that if you kind of like tilt your head sideways and squint a little bit, you're suddenly able to see Sharky, who I assume had not manifested, or had he? He, yeah, actually would have materialized. Okay, but materialized. Either way, you're <laughs> able to see spirit, like- Was he materialized? Um, yeah, he probably was, but you're able to see like- Well, if I see, glows. well, if I see him, does he look like glowy? Like, I don't yeah. know what, okay. This yeah. is- you're, you're all astrally perceiving. Oh, God. What? This is what you see all the time? Well, I can, it's what I see when I want to look at the astral You can choose plane. it or not choose it. I'm you not going to keep it You on. are now able to astrally perceive. In fact, you have become dual-natured. Wait, what? I'm sorry. Can we go back Wait. around to that? Like, what, is that? what does it mean to be dual-natured? <laughs> has Dan figured it out? <laughs> so. Mordecai, what is going on? I, uh, I mean, if there's an astral rift, I should be able to see it. Like that's there's an astral rift okay. inside the building. That's that was the missing piece. There is an astral rift. They basically cut a hole into the astral plane, and it's seeping out right now into the world. And it's basically making all of you magical. Uh, you're able to experience the astral world. On the plus side, it does mean if you punch a spirit, it'll yes, that's, work. I was about to ask, like, so I could be Cromwell. I yes. could, like, punch things. Basically. <laughs> so, are they bringing something through it? Is that what they're doing with the ritual? I mean, there's not, a, there's not a lot of good reasons to perception. open an astral. Is it a sound-based perception? It's a surprise test. Oh, uh, does that mean I can use You can sound? use uh, Matrix because you have all of your stuff set up. Yeah. You can use astral or visual. I'm just asking if I can use my bonus sound dice. Did anyone move um, at that during any of that time? Because you had some time from when the mages showed up to when the ritual was completed. I so, no. I mean, I'm back in my body because okay. otherwise I wouldn't be able to communicate with all of them. Everyone's so nice. Oh. so much. Um, whew, uh, two, four, two, three, two. You two are way too distracted by the <laughs> fact that you are astrally perceived. <laughs> Uh, you like, are immediately aware that a I'm like, large sure, number I have so of many motorcycles things. are on the way. And you are able to see, were you astrally perceiving or, or visually? I'm astrally perceiving. Um, you see, like, there is a large number of people descending on this area. You guys, we've got bogeys and they are improved. We've um, also so got everybody, people. roll initiative. Oh, like a vault. Mainframe would have dropped in. You guys there. are surprised. Which oh. means you take a negative 10 to your initiative and you don't act on the first turn. So, pass. wait, if I can blitz, I, yeah. does that mean we can act? Still not on the first turn, but it will help with the negative 10. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna blitz then. So instead of three, I roll five dice? Just gonna... No, 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 you, you roll, yeah, you roll five, and then subtract 10 from whatever you get. Yeah, wow, I rolled three ones. <laughs> so um, just bear with me. Good. You've I have got a lot of initiative things. cards to deal with for this, and... Um, maps and there's, you know, I didn't know. All right, that's fine. I, I need more space. Ugh, I suddenly can't do math because I'm so stressed. Oh, do you need uh, help? No, characters. I can do it. I love. <laughs> okay. I forget that you get okay. like this. I'm not over there. Ah. Uh, makes me happy. Sharky, he needs initiative too. What, so what are you doing, you, if Sharky? Emfe is magical. All of us, and there's a ton of, of, of motorcycles. How many did we see? Approximately. It's like a dozen, it's like six, it's like four. It's oh. Like 20, probably. With 20 motorcycles. At least. I mean, in the first wave. Two dozen motorcycles. It would have been really great if, like, I was bequeathed a. Is that the word? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. A like rocket launcher. Yeah. It's funny how no one is in that heavily armed van. Uh, excuse me. I have a sniper rifle. Everything's possible now. That's fine. <laughs> That's what sniper rifle 
sniper I mean, rifles. I may do. not be in the heavily armed band, but I control the heavily. That's true. Armed You're band. fine. Yeah. No one else can use the band. <laughs> I don't need to be in the band to do band. Where we're going, we don't need bands. <laughs> uh, I am unused. Oh, I am not so worried. Is that a problem? I'm I so am not yet worried. I think it's cool. Like, Ben can now like see ghosts and Matt critters. Uh, I bet I see. You could already see critters. Hound what fire does dogs? Mordecai look like on the, the astral plane? Oh, that's a good question. What does Mordecai look like? You guys can I mean, like see Sharky now whenever that's. Yeah, well, great. I want to hear what. Yeah, what 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 does your yeah, spirit most, look like? Mostly astral forms. Like they don't look like people per se. It's more just like the colors that you see. What's your color? Uh. I mean, color, I, I guess Mordecai's color okay. is probably brown. Sorry, uh, Elfie left, so I guess I won't get her initiative yet. Tw- it, the, it was 30 minus 10, so 20. 20. Okay. So I'll get one round. Yep. Mainframe. 32. That was a, I should not have blitzed. For Mordecai. Mordecai. 30. Sharky. Uh, 24. Oh, I was going to do something that was going to make everyone really sad. What were you going to do? Oh, Didn't you, you do were going to call. Oh. I'm just going to put that card to the side. Wait, what? It's Cromwell's card. Yeah. <laughs> we went through all of this. I'm sorry. We had closure. We had eggs. We all <laughs> ate a plate of a dozen I don't know eggs. What at best. Is. I didn't um, know that was what we did. You know what? For I definitely did. my simplicity, I am gonna just see how many of them are Lauren, I know you're working hard, but okay. guess what? What? You got this. I know I do. Okay, I take that back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, first up is going to be mainframe. Great. Uh, are they in range of grenades from my van? Um, from a grenade launcher. Let's double check. Grenade launcher. Now, how close range. are all of them? Or, or actually uh, an assault cannon. Would, I think that has longer range because it says 1,500 here. Yeah. Please oh, yeah, they're cannon. definitely within the range. You might take a, probably a negative one penalty to the actual firing of it just because if they're a little bit far, they're on kind of the farther edge okay. of that range. Uh, I would like to attack. Um, so the motorcycles are coming on the road. So they're essentially, um, if you imagine, they have just entered the map. So there's a group coming uh, from the north side on Weeping Willows Road and then a group coming from the west side along that southern So they're all super road. close. Relatively speaking, yeah. I mean... Wow, we really suck at, like, maintaining a perimeter. Well, you kept the perimeter really close to the building. <laughs> uh, I, the was, reason you two weren't surprised is it also happened at a very specific time. I'm going to fire my Panther XXL at okay. uh, the southern group of bicyclists. Great. Motorcyclists. Yeah, you're definitely able to do that. Great. Um, Go with so... <laughs> This is my gunnery skill. Yep. Great. Never used that before. Uh, so that's that many. And I don't. Do I add my gunnery to anything about the the, the assault cannon, or just roll straight gunnery? Uh, gunnery plus. You roll gunnery pu- plus. Um, no uh, logic. I believe. Uh, oh. Is it? No. It gunnery. Says agility. Yeah, it's gunnery and agility. I, I'll happily take logic if you want to house rule that, but I assume you don't. No. Uh, so, I don't have a ton of dice, but thumpers have been generous. So, I will. Elsie, what was your initiative? 17. Welcome to one turn. Oh. I will okay. use six thumper dice. Uh, I'll so. use seven thumper dice, because that's a lucky number, and I have an advantage. It's yeah. You can it. Something's I'll- wrong. This isn't all adding up. They just appeared out of nowhere. Doesn't make sense. Eat. Who appeared? Uh, you're uh, firing a rocket. I'm firing an assault cannon. So a grenade, right? A missile? Essentially, yeah. Okay, so generally the threshold for those is you need to get three to hit, let it land where you want it to land. Okay. Um, rather than them dodging and then it explodes. And so what's the damage in the radius on the assault cannon? Uh, Let's see if any of them kind of 17 physical minus 6 armor piercing. Okay. And I don't know what the range... I mean, it's... Uh, how many per, per, rate, uh, right. per meter does it reduce? Is that the minus... Minus something slash M. Oh my God. 
Most of them are minus four a meter if it's an armor piercing. It doesn't grenade. actually have the minus okay. M for the assault cannon. I don't think uh-huh. it's. No, because you see it's over here. It's minus oh, yeah. two. I don't think it decreases for. Maybe it's bullets then. It's, it's not a missile. Yeah. All right. We're going to resolve it this way. Great. Um, so you, uh, from from the van, you basically blast into them. They're actually probably slightly off the map because they are still, the scale on the map is, they are about um, uh, 150 or so meters away. So they're kind of at the, in the, the slightly farther range of the, the missile, mm-hmm. not like the immediate range, but the next one. Anyway, we don't deal with rage bands very often. Uh, the missile lands in kind of a large group of them. Uh, a bunch of the bikes like skid to the side. Uh, you see like one of the drivers just like, or one of the riders, whatever, uh, tip over and like tumble and roll onto the asphalt and appears to be either unconscious or at the very least not happy about the fact that they're not on their bike. Um, a couple of the other ones, like their tires seem to be a little, somewhat shredded. Um, they stall out and um, either have to get out and move on foot. They're a little, a little bit worse for wear. Um, and the kind of remaining um, two thirds of them are so press forward and continue towards the road. Uh, Mordecai. Uh, so I, I just want to find a cluster of these motorcycles and I'm going to toss a ball lightning at them. Yeah. So um, from where you are, uh, you would probably have, I mean, you're on the roof, right? Mm-hmm. In your body, best line of sight on the group coming from the north. All right. Uh, and like how close together are they roughly? Like. Um, I mean, they're spaced out on the width of the road, so about 10, 10 meters wide and like 20 meters long or something like that. Uh, 10 meters wide, 10, all right, well, let's do, if they're 20 meters long, then a force 10 ball lightning should do it. Whoa. Yeah, I know. This is wow. gonna drain me, probably. That's okay, you uh, have a safe space on the roof. Uh, we can all see Astral now. Uh, well, I got the three hits, but I only got two net hits after that, which is really shitty because I rolled a lot of dice. So it's going to do, uh, 12, da- uh, 12 electric damage, armor piercing, minus 10 to the group. Okay. Um, I'm going to see how many of them can get out of the way to kind of mitigate some of that. Conveniently, actually. We've made contact, guys. So, Fortunately, I did resist the drain. Nice. So, uh, so a handful of them kind of duck to the side. A lot of them, their bikes seem to stall out. Several of them are, are stalled on the bikes. Um, the the ball lightning hits a pretty significant area, area um, but a number of them will continue to press on. So who are these motorbikes with? Are they... That's what we... I don't know. We don't really know, really know but... I looked at them. <laughs> I just know that they're approaching. Yeah, we, they might be, like, good guys. I mean, if they're trying to take down Panda Dusk, are they... Are they hand of dust people? Until they get closer, we won't know. But if they're folks who are against whatever our principles are, if they're too close, it's too late. I'm just saying. We're not quite sure, like. I know. I wish I knew more about what the hand of dusk was trying to accomplish right now with their astral rift. All right. Next up is. Uh, those things happen. Uh, you see one of the turrets kind of like try and swivel around and get a little bit of line of sight. The van at the bottom also lets off a couple of, of projectiles and you see some drones kind of head off um, into the woods as you also see that there are some people just like coming through and like sneaking. Uh, uh, you were able to see the astral signatures of the people coming through the underbrush. So they're a little bit farther away than the bikes were, but there are people as well on foot. Um, the uh, so that's mostly them acting Sharky. Uh, Sharky, I think before the battle, I would have told him to defend Mfek, so. That seems logical, yes. I accept that. Uh, so he'll, uh, he's going to. Uh, I needed different colors, it's been really smart. First time <laughs> it ever occurred to me that maybe I should have had different color cards. Uh, he's just Oh, gonna... you're learning. <laughs> Super useful now. I'll get them for next week. He's just going to pick whoever's closest to uh, anywhere that, like, in Was fact, he is near you? Around. Okay, so that would probably be either the group of people coming kind of from the east on foot or the bikes mm. from the north. So he'll, he'll the go. The bikes are closer than the people. He'll go down and he'll engage the people okay. uh, who are on foot. Uh, and he's going to uh, use his whip on one of them. And he can only attack one at a time. Uh, but that's what he's gonna do. 
gets one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hits. Nice, or four. Nice. Uh, so that's going to do 20 physical damage, armor piercing minus eight. Conveniently, they can now also attack him. Why? They're oh, also dual, they're all <laughs> dual nature once they enter. The range on the, the mana kind of field is, a, is about 250 meters. Okay. From the barrier. Okay. Mm. Um, and it's probably enough to more or less incapacitate that individual. Um, all right. Next up, they're going to go. Um, you see the mage uh, direct their, or has directed their spirit. Um, and they are going to. Oh, I forgot they have that spell. I'm going to throw a napalm blast at one of the groups of motorcycles. What? Fire water. It's essentially it's... does water and fire damage. What? I have. I have friggin' ball lightning. Um, he's gonna succeed. And another group of them, you see several of them like scream and run kind of scorched um, in not particularly great shape. They are gonna do that. Uh, the um, clones begin to move in. Um, they're mostly preparing to address the people kind of on foot or whatever group is coming closest to them. They begin firing. Um, the uh, Sharky is actually going to get attacked. Uh, what, what's he getting attacked with? Um, I mean, because it's convenient for me, there was a great person in that group. Um, it's a spirit. It's a relatively low Whoa. level spirit. Um, but it is a toxic fi fire spirit. A toxic fire spirit? Okay. We can now see so. these things. Mm -hmm. There is essentially like this glowing mass of radiant light. Uh, amongst this group of people. It hasn't manifested yet. But uh, there are known to be some toxic, toxic shamans in the Redmond Barrens because they basically hate people. So it's interesting to see that they're now amongst a group of people. So to be clear, it's not materialized, so it's just gonna do astral combat against Sharky? Or? Yeah. Okay. So then he just resists with his, I wanna say, willpower? Yeah, I think so. So. Uh, I got three hits. Nice. Wait, three? I, I get one. Uh, so he takes, uh, or he resists uh, three points, so he takes one point of um, force damage for astral. You physical. rolled four, you, you're saying? Or? No. Well, he hit, and then um, I believe the the net, the damage is just the force, not, not including net hits. It should just be, I think, like whatever hits you roll. Either way, it's one. I got okay. one net hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's... either he resisted three points of the damage or he resisted yeah. three points of my hits. So we'll call it good. Um, <laughs> thing. I don't get one turn because... You don't go, and Elsie doesn't go, so that Can brings we, us... Do, do we get a perception check at least? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I want to actually roll... Like, you're like, what? Yeah, I would <laughs> like to do one perception check on just who these people are. Yeah. yeah. Like, I want to I I see if there's like any... Your Seattle, no, like law enforcement knowledge. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. Or add that to your perception check. Add it to my perception check? Sure. I'm now rolling 12. Mm -hmm. Do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna six. give this to Fang. Uh. Let her do something good. I mean, Aww. that's so rare. Thank you, my liege. Um, you are able to identify that there are a mixture of different gangs in this group, as well as like some lone agents that you don't recognize. Of the gangs, you're pretty sure you notice because they're fairly distinct. Um, the street gang Crimson, Crimson Crush, who are mostly pretty much all orcs that you can see. Um, there's also the Red Hawk Nukes, which are most of the people on the motorbikes. They're a go gang that are mostly dwarves. Um, and there's the Rusted Stilettos, which are also orcs and trolls. Wait. You know for a fact that the Red Hawk Nukes and the Rusted Stilettos are enemies of each other. Yeah, this is really... Um I'm gonna point out two things, and I'm gonna tell them like these are three gangs from Seattle that do not usually work together, and they are all meta to human gangs. Mm -hmm. This is weird. You also know that most of the gangs in the Redmond Barrens are meta human gangs. There oh, okay. aren't any really. So they're banding together gangs. to keep whatever it is. Or we took this here. space from them, and they want it back. All right, I'll reach out, but we gotta keep an appearance of doing uh, doing the work we've been hired to do, so they don't turn on us until we're ready to make a move. Okay. Doesn't make sense. I'm gonna keep shooting until you tell me not to. 
Um, okay, so you. Eeny, meeny, miny. I'm also trying to get rid of meta human types, but that doesn't make sense. Was that ominous or not enough ominous? I can't that tell. Uh, I don't like that. Limit. Why? All right. Um, you saw on the roof of the building opposite you, Fink, you were probably somewhat aware uh, that Sammy was on the roof, and you see him take a bullet. Like, you just see him reel backwards and drop. From, like, a bullet. From, like, a bullet. Does he still have an astral signature? Uh, it is in bad shape. Guys, there's a snipe. Be aware. Mainframe. Okay, uh, I'm down seven dice from the earlier thing. Oh, thank um, you, sorry. Yeah, uh, so... Can I use a free action to try to reach out to like, or do I have to like mark these guys to get a message to them? You can send a message to yeah. them. Are there? Yeah, if there's, I just kind of want probably all like shared communication information beforehand. Everyone no, not that. not our oh. side, their side. Um, then you can try and send a message, but they may or may not respond. You kind of are gonna say, oh, forgot to mention. You also noticed that the noise in the area. Uh, you no longer have access to anything that is not local. I did update the GPS before, as I mm-hmm. said I would for, so. so. right around the time, and in fact, just before the uh, Astral Rust opened, um, you all got like this weird automatic update <laughs> message that occurred from Pacific Rim Telecommunications stating, oh. we're doing automatic maintenance on our servers. Our apologies for any delays or lack of communication. So I send a message to uh, if individuals So you're able identify. to communicate locally, locally if you yeah. try and essentially leave a significant error, you're not going to be able to like send, you struggle to send a message to Miss J, and you definitely can't access anything she knows where from we the are. Matrix. And I let her do what she needs to with that information. I reach out to the gangs and just, you may have friends, speak your piece, why are you here? Uh, and, you know, anonymize it as much as okay. I can. Um, is that a free action? Is that yeah, a that's conflict? a free action to Great. send a message. Um, and then... To make my point... Oh, you don't shoot at them? <laughs> well, to make my point, because I'm reaching out... Uh, I might tag, like, we can hit if we need to, and I fire uh, fire the panther in the middle of the two... Like, middle of Willow's Road. Okay. Intentionally so kind of miss. Intentionally miss. Yeah. All right. Uh, you fire it, presumably, unless you glitch, will land where you want it to. Okay. Roll them bones. Did not glitch. Four hits at six dice. Great, perfect. That is exactly what you need. Uh, three is what you need to get. It lands where you want it to. You blow like a good sized chunk of pavement, uh, flies up into the air. Nice. So Mortify. Uh, I'm going to take a moment just to assess one of these people. Uh-huh. And I want to see if they're under any sort of like spell or mind control or anything like that. Uh, and I got five hits. Not as far as you can tell. Like they're, I mean, and the the little logical part of you that is there is like, there is no, a mage is not powerful enough to mind control this many people. There may be some like residual, like there might be some influence on some of them, but most of it would have been, if there was, it was probably person to person or verbal. Like to to cast and sustain that level of mob or mind control would be beyond the power of most humans. That's my turn. Okay. they're gonna go, you see uh, the turret again, the firing into this. The numbers of the one of the Southern um, Go Gang seem to be somewhat thinning out, but there's still, there's still enough of them that are approaching and they're gonna show up on foot. Um, the mage is gonna launch another assault. Uh, the, the guardian spirit will um, go into the forest on the west side and just <gasps> trying to cleave them down with this okay. mighty sword. Um, the toxic spirit's going to um, mostly be pressing forward, so unless Sharky's moving with them, he'll somewhat engage Sharky. Uh, yeah, that's oh, right. So Sharky can try and, and dodge again. But it seems to be more uh, aimed. Four hits. He dodges. Okay. Um, the clones move in to engage, um, firing at the people, and bang. Now you get to go. Okay, cool. Uh, I would, I'm assuming there's still some people near a motorcycle bike. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would like to make a called shot to the engine of the motorcycle bike to cause it to explode. Okay. 
you know, like you, sh you shoot the Yeah, the, no, I know that's what you want time. to do. You can definitely make a called shot to the engine. I don't know if it'll explode. Oh, you talk, more, you're you talking called shot to the gas tank, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I've seen movies. I'm pretty sure that's what happens. Called shot to the person, but that's fine. Go for it. Will it explode? And you know, clearly right now, am I wasting my turn? I will roll to find out if it explodes. Okay. It will, you will need to do a significant amount of damage over um, to for it to explode. Well, cool. I'm gonna add four upper dice to okay. overset to the other, uh, actually six. I'm gonna do six. All right, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It hits to the ghastly. Okay. Um, I'm using my new sniper. I take my breath. <sighs> Seven hits. Yeah. Let's see. They're gonna do a pilot ground crash. Don't dodge. Don't dodge. Uh, your net hits are four. Great. I'm gonna do uh, 16 piercing damage minus four armor. Okay. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> There's never been piercing damage. That is a D and D thing. There's it's a letter that is the letter P. Physical oh, damage. I'm pretty sure it's piercing. Armor <laughs> piercing. <laughs> Hashtag Claudia rules. Uh, <laughs> so the vehicle is going to resist this. Ah, oh, not the person. The I vehicle. forgot vehicles are like 30 or 40. And it's a motorbike. They don't have as much as a regular vehicle. What if they just... Um, that's, that's unfortunate for me. I didn't think this through. Right. I got a sniper gun with like, everything's cool now. You're probably better off. If it was a... How much? Uh, I did 16. Minus four armor. Okay. So it takes a solid chunk of damage. You like shred through the gas tank. The bullet like goes all the way through. Um, does it explode? It does. <gasps> there is a small explosion <laughs> of the gas tank as it, the gas ignites, fuel leaks out. The person is thrown from their bike. Take a good, like solid chunk of damage on the ground. Um, the other bikes swerve and manage to avoid I'm okay with that. I know I can't wish okay. for an entire chain. The person link. is not dead, but they are not happy. Yeah. You, All right. Did you guys see that? Yeah. It's, guys, yeah. none of this makes any sense. Oh. Aren't you bothered? I, of course uh, we're bothered. We can see magic. Uh, I don't know if I told you guys, but the sniper rifle is pink, pink and gold. Great. It's everything that I wanted to be. sending the message like, give us a reason not to shoot. Give us a reason not to shoot. Okay. Like, um, like, none of them have responded. Mm -hmm. um, you don't, you're not 100% sure if, if they're even getting messages or choosing to receive them. Um, the, that's gonna happen. Actually, sorry, I need to roll something that I didn't roll previously. That's fair. And sort of hand wave to determine how much actually happened. Oh, okay, great. That's good. Just, I don't like that this good. What? Silent right now. I, I'm um, really uneasy. I don't yeah, know. No, that's totally so, fair. Empha can see magic. Uh, there's several gangs coming from all yeah. directions, not okay. replying. Great. So you notice that the uh, yeah the astral signature of of Sammy was pretty low. So that that answers that question that I need to answer. Great. Um, Cause Sammy got there. shot with like a sniper. They're in there and they're in the van. And then Where is down. They? Could be from the ground. Sammy is not subtle. Unless there's... Okay. Um, we would see a spirit if some spirit was attacking us. Yes, you spirit would see if it was a spirit. It's weird rifles. that there's a snipe. Well, we've got a bunch of bikers. But... We're moderately far away from, this, from the building. Um, so the other person who was on top of the building was the face that you talked to. Uh-oh. You also see them ah! and go down. They're supposed Main to friend. take us out. Wait, what? Guys, I think we're the secondary target here. Us? Yeah. Wait, what? Fine. Fine. Uh, I want to fire my cannon again into the, the southern group of bikers. Great. Wait, what? There's a sniper taking out the and runners. I will use... Five pumper dice. Don't want to miss. We're all people that have done 
jobs for Hand of Dusk in one way or another, right? Whether we meant to or not. So I think they're using this you as a sign. Three hits? Because we roll scatter if you don't get three hits. It still goes off. Mm. How many dice is this? How many uh, dice did you add? <laughs> Pardon? How many dice did you add? Uh, four. Okay. Never five. Yeah, four. Oh, that. Oh. oh. It was two hits. Mm -hmm. Did you glitz? Yeah, glitch? I did glitch. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Uh, so the missile goes off. Um, it's a glitch, not a critical glitch, right? No, it's not a critical glitch. Okay. And the the gun, um, the connections, unfortunately, were not quite sturdy enough. So the gun goes offline. Like it goes, and it goes offline. Ah. So you need to re manually reboot it. Like by hand? Yeah, like just flip switch, turn it on. Um, okay, and you, so two, we roll scatter. Go ahead and roll me 2d6. Uh, it's a five and a two. Seven. Uh, oh, sorry, roll me 4d6. Oh, because I don't see And a four and a three. Seven, seven, give me the total. Okay. 14. This. 14, great. Sorry. Uh, I, was got, I was ready for this. Yeah, so the distance, it scatters about 10 meters or so. Um, and then I'll roll a 2d6 to see what direction it scatters in. That's four. Um, it scatters slightly sideways, but it probably, given where they were located, was a southern group. Mm. Good. That puts it to the west. So it just offshoots, miss, misses most of them. So they are able to swerve around it. Um, the other Decker takes several shots at them. You notice the numbers are thinning out. They're probably at this point, there's only about four bikers left coming from the south. Um, you guys have been firing on them pretty steadily. Um, the mage this time is like, fuck it, fires into the trees and just like, maybe I'll just set them all on fire. Um, and this time it's a fireball, so. He would not be a good Shasta Shaman. No, no, he's not a Shasta Shaman. I see a lot of fire from this person. Um, he has the, the two elemental spells. Actually, it's probably still the fire water. You wouldn't have learned the other one. Wow, oh. he rolled really well. Good. Um, yeah, Show it's, those a, trees. it's a great fireball. A lot of the trees catch on fire. Oh. There's a small burning um, off to the west. Oh my god. Um, they are gone. And the guards move in, and now they are. <laughs> they, they see the forest is on fire in front of them, and they just sort of stand there, and, like gosh. wait to pick off anyone who comes out. Um, Wait, did you miss Elsie's second turn? That's first. Well, because we yes, missed the time. I'm sorry, you got yeah, to go. Was, okay, because I, I was apologize. like, it's been a long time. Yeah, because you were right after me because you're 17. You're right. Um, you, I, yeah, uh, you're gonna go now. So okay, sorry. Um, so Elsie just has a feeling like something is really wrong, and she like when she sees the other face like take that bullet. She has a moment where she's like, she has her sniper rifle out and she's like, no, she couldn't be here. And then she's like, you Don't just hear her reception? say low, almost like she's swearing. She's like, Becky. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so she's, I hope she's taken this time while everybody's like, ah, and like going. That Elsie is just like trying to figure out, like get a beat on like, okay, what is going on and where is the sniper coming from? So I don't know if she wants to like roll perception on that yeah, or- you can give me a perception. Great. Um, do you not have like pinpoint accuracy or like leadership of bullets? No. Of leadership bullets. of bullets. Cunning like mine. Cunning bullets. I don't, um, I just, I'm actually because I am I am so like minute I'm like, is it her? Is she here? Um, I'm gonna add six thumper dice to my perception roll. Ooh! She's like, Becky. Whoop! And what went my lap? Okay. Uh, well, it's a good thing I had that. so I had four. Oh yeah, you don't see anything. <laughs> okay, like, like out of death. character. We're pretty sure that's what's happening, right? <laughs> um, and, the, and I assume that was my action for the. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Did she tell anybody? She was yeah. on the team? Yeah, you hear me say into the comm, like, is she here? Is this her? Like, okay. So you guys have two actions, uh, two initiative passes left. Okay. And then Sharky has one. Because we're done. Um, I, on so she roof? said the Becky thing. You two are on a roof, and you're on a roof? I'm on a roof. We're laying down. Oh no, I would rather stand up. Can we switch? What? You're standing up. Yeah, I'm standing on up. On the same roof that those two other people were at. No, I'm no, on a different, on different roof. roof. Doesn't, the roof really doesn't matter if you're in sniper range. Yeah, once you're on the roof, you're on the roof. Uh, so this is before our next round. Uh, what were you doing? Yes, uh, uh, I'm going first, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Bring it. Unfortunately, if you, you strike cover. me down, I will become more powerful. Yes. That's not Possibly how Shadowrun works. Yes. Yes. That's how yes. Elsie works. Because you are specifically looking, I will allow you to dodge. And you are prone, so add two. Okay. <sighs> All right. All right, bitch, let's go. Uh, five is my dodge. Good thumper dice. All right. I would like you to resist. Oh no. 16 physical damage. <gasps> Armor piercing minus four. That's your gun. <sighs> um, As you're like looking around and you like peek up, you just feel this bullet land like in between your shoulder blades. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, I'm going to use... 20 thumper dice. Oh, 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 yeah. oh. Because oh, I don't play. With um, Becky? And there's With no Becky. limit on When there's a Becky. Limits on Becky, go home. Uh, I'm gonna, I don't have enough dice for this, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna roll these twice. Um, okay. One, two. Okay, I got two. I got uh, four, five. And then I'm gonna roll my regular pool. Oh my goodness. And then I'm gonna burn. Uh, I'm gonna spend. A okay, I was like, oh, did we get there? <laughs> no. Uh, it's like. <laughs> Wait end. All right, so uh, Elsie takes the hit, but she was already like, had that like, I need to duck. And so the bullet catches her, but not with as much, her uh, armor absorbs most of it. So hoping. it like, it hurts, but she is not, um, she is, she's still on her feet. Mainframe. Okay, so she said something Can we about hear something? Becky. Can we hear you scream? Uh, yeah, I want you to hear Elsie scream. Do a, 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 like start searching for mm -hmm. a Scarlet Fire's Decker. Scarlet Fire's Decker. Sure. Yeah. Find them on the Matrix. Oh, we know what they are like. I mean, assuming they still have the same persona. Or you know, I mean, it. Yeah. I'm looking for abnormalities, mm -hmm. but I'm specifically looking for anything that. Yeah, might Elsie may be wrong. She might be wrong. <laughs> and so I think she's wrong. If there's like, hey, I'm a bad guy, I will <laughs> someone <laughs> wearing a sign that says, I'm bad. Uh, what's your major perception? Five. Uh, you don't find someone with a sign that says, I'm a bad guy, um, or like the Scarlet Flyer like, emblem or something. <laughs> what you do, uh, do notice, though, is um, the only decker you can still see is the one that was part of Callista. The other decker that was part of Artemis Blue is gone. Oh my goodness. Mordecai. Oh, do I get, is that a simple or a complex action? Complex action yeah, to okay. do a, a, use a skill. Uh, here's what Mordecai is gonna do. He's gonna hop off the corner of the building, recklessly <laughs> cast Levitate on himself, just like a meter off the ground, okay. to give himself a nice soft landing. Uh, and then he's going to run into the building to try to find one of the mages to interrogate. Run into this big building? Yes. Into the, the big building. The, the yeah. ritual building. Yeah. With all yeah. the all right, ritual There mages? are definitely two guards still at that door. Fuck. Like two Zoro guards 
at the door. Two cool. have not moved, to be clear. Uh, damn. Ah. It's fine, you're welcome to try. Hmm? You're welcome to try. Oh, you can't go invisible either, because Astral will be able to see you. Thanks. <laughs> Wait for the gangers to take them out. Um, well, I, I, I'll tell you what I do. I am gonna leap down to, uh, to the ground, uh, and I'm gonna try to sneak past them. Okay. Um, you can't also stealth, because stealth is a skill and a complex yeah. action, so you will need to wait until your next turn, which I realize you rolled 30, you do not have another turn until the yeah. next combat turn. But I, so I'll, I'll leap down and I'll get good cover. Okay, great. Um, Sharky. Uh, so Sharky, uh, through me, has heard all of this uh, chatter about, like, uh, and he knows Elsie has been hit, uh, and his directive is to protect what's left of Mfek. Uh So he's actually going to dematerialize so he can go look for the source of the bullets. Okay. He dematerializes. Yeah. Um, there's one thing I wanted. Perfect. Even better. Great. Um, just realized. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't super breaking all the rules, and I'm not. Um, so only two people left to go. Bang! Oh! You were not aware. I am not. Quick perception test. Nope. Nope. And I definitely, my shield is next to me, not on my back, because I'm on the rooftop, but my helmet's on. Good. That's good. I'm glad you're wearing your helmet. Am I just picking up all these dice to roll? Just roll a perception. Oh. First. You got oh, that's nice. dice. Is it sound related? No. Gosh darn it. Not at this range. Three. Three. I'll let. You can dodge. <gasps> Take a minus. Do two. I do I hear what happened to her? And yes. I'm like, you like ready? see her get shot on the other side of the roof, and so you're you're ready. Um. So yeah, roll your dodge. Oh, that's yeah, oh, yeah. I'll do that first. I'm gonna do uh, dodge, dodge, dodge. Make it rain. Four. All right. You need to resist 17 physical damage, armor piercing minus four. As soon as I said four, I was like, why didn't I use a dice to boost that? Yeah. Good I question. don't know. I also ah. technically didn't roll one of my dice. Yeah. I'm really glad you but did. But I'll be nice to you and How say much that did I, I lose piercing damage? Uh, right? Four. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. She's got my gun. It's a really wow. good gun. Wow. Okay. It's a, it's a very so nice gun. Here's yeah, what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Um. Do can I add dice from my top pool and then use my own edge to reroll? Yes, Including but if you me. add now, you won't add the you won't reroll the thumper dice. You just reroll your own. Yeah, I'm just gonna use a point of edge to like reroll that. Okay. Because that was painful. That's much closer. <laughs> and then I'm gonna add six thumper dice. Can I do that, please? Yep. I got one from the Thumber Dice. So that was nice. <laughs> uh, Fang goes about halfway down. Like, like Fang was like looking and like going to reach for the the, the shield to like throw onto oh, you. No. And then like you know the Fang spot, like it's on the right yeah. Fang but spot. But the back Fang spot. The back <gasps> Fang spot. So it's like right here. <gasps> oh, and like. The arm just goes like, nope, for a second, because all the muscles have been severed. And it's like, there is a sniper. Please go inside the building. <laughs> this is so calm. Uh, mainframe. Uh, mainframe uh, will switch to her grenade launcher. All right. Uh, I think that's a simple action to switch device, so you could take a, another simple action if you wanted to. Um, do I have to? Um, no. no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what's si well, it's simple action. Yeah. Uh, simple action. Yeah. I want to. I will use. I have it loaded with high explosive mini grenades. That sounds great. Yeah. 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 I assume that's an FS or SA shot. So that go for of, it. That was a lot of words. Uh, semi-automatic or single shot. Those are simple actions. Yeah. Great. Roll uh, it. <laughs> this is definitely one you need to get three hits for it to land where you want. Who are you aiming at? Um. North group, where are the North group and South group? Are they close? Are they they're getting the much building? closer. They're much closer to the roads now. They basically, they're probably about a 
they've closed about half the distance. Especially the peop- the motorbikes have closed a lot more of the distance. Okay, and how many, how large are the groups? Um, at this point, the south group is the smallest. It's probably only about four. The north group's probably about six. North group six. What about the, the people coming through the forest? Um, that forest is doing a lot better. The, the east forest would be uh, about eight. And then the west forest, it's hard to tell. It's on fire. <laughs> Uh, no, a grenade. Uh, no, a grenade launch is not fire damage, so it won't set things on fire. But I will fire at the group in the east forest. Great. And I will roll these. And then, oh, I only need three. Yep. It's a. You just Great. have to meet the threshold. Three hits. So, lands where you want it to. You hear like the splinter of wood. You hear it. Sounds of Wilhelm screams. Um, but as you and you see the fading of astral signatures of at least a couple of uh, the, yes. Yes. <laughs> a couple of the uh, gang members who were approaching from that area. Um, so at this point, the forces are probably about halved from what, what had approached you. Yes, uh, Dinah, yes! You're doing pretty well. And with that, uh-huh. at the end of the combat turn, we shall leave our session. Oh. So we need to remember all these numbers, right? Yes, please okay. do not erase damage off of your character sheet, but we will be re-rolling initiative at the top oh, okay. of next session. So wow. you need to remember your initiative. So, so, can we tell them how this episode ends, where we have three groups from the Barons attacking us. Becky the Sniper. Maybe. Maybe. No, I'm sorry. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> um, <laughs> Not confirmed. Uh, yeah, not most confirmed. of Callista down, Artemis Blue missing, and all of us can see Shark. Yep. And two of you are wounded. Yeah. Two of you uh, got shot in the back. I mean, that's the least of our worries. So no, it's hard. one of our significant worries. <laughs> <laughs> we, we cease to be player characters. That's what I'm going to refer to people. Oh. On the plus side, though, you have all made it to the final episode of Shadow and Corporate Sins. Oh. How much of that episode is still yet unknown? Uh, if not yes. for the grace of Thumper Dice, I would be dead. Yep. I know. Well I done, know you Thumper Dice. Um, Callista did not have Thumper Dice, thus they are dead. Oh! oh. Well, two of them. Ones what? on the roof are basically No, dead. Sammy's just having oh a very goodness. low astral signature. Yeah, they are bleeding out, is essentially what Unless you've got a trauma patch. So unless you want to leave over and trauma patch them. Patch. Um, I have not used, but I have Cromwells that I could use. Night. And Elsie graduated. She I did. Aww. Yes. It's poor girl, like, has a lot on her mind, so she'll get to Horns enjoy it. for much. Cromwell. Um, oh, my so, God. So, guys, this is going to be great. Next week. 6 p.m. Pacific time, we will come back for a final episode of Shadow and Corporate Sins. Wow. And then uh, the week after, we'll be uh, after the final run, uh, our talk show where we'll have fancy attire and comfy sofas. And then uh, following that, we'll take the week off. And then immediately after that, we will be coming back for Skywatch, our miniseries. Wait, do we announce Make the sure name? that you watch the finale live. Get everybody in here to watch live. Support in fact for the last time. Be here. Also, I guarantee there'll be spoilers. Like immediately afterwards. Yes, yeah, I'm kidding. It's not yeah. the kind of thing you want to wait Twitter. and see on yeah. replay. Like that's on you. If you're like, I'm gonna go on to Twitter and look at this corpses hashtag at 9 p.m. on Wednesday. Yeah, that's, that's on you. You know, nine like 9 p.m. is the, when the danger zone really starts. Pacific Standard Time. Yeah, yeah, because it's 9 p.m. That's, East Coast. Yeah. Spends on if anyone's live tweeting. All right, you're, you're we so are okay. we're short on time because after this is uh, Vanquish season two. So stick around for that. It's gonna be awesome. Um, I saw Zach's tweet earlier, and so if you think I'm mean, uh, Zach said someone is definitely going to die this season. Um, That's me. Yeah. That's so mean. whatever. Red God's super nice. Uh, so let's do our tips. Thank you so much for all of your support. We really truly appreciate all of us. It helps us continue making cool things for you. We do like right. doing cool things. Our first one is from Demolition One. Good luck tonight. Mfe. Bust through whatever the red god throws at you and snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. Mainframe Mordecai, Fang, Elsie. Mainframe Core, Mordecai Mages, Fang Teeth, Elsie Click. Hashtag for Cromwell. Thank you, Demolition. Thank you. William underscore TW. Here are five dice from hashtag Neonet. Go Elsie, Mainframe, Mordecai, Fang, go Lauren. Isn't somebody missing in Uh, this list? (laughs) Thank you, William. Vasco to Gamer. I've heard rumors from a cult of, of the red god. This is it. So take these 10 dice and don't hold back. Thank Hashtag you, Vasco. I will blow lots of things up. I did. You did. I you did. really did. did. A lot of explosives. 
Wild Bronco 38. Two dice each for Elsie Fang, Mainframe Mordecai, Mvfefe. Oh, Mvfefe. Oh, yeah. Mvfefe. Uh, Paladin Hulk. Okay, one die for Cromwell. Oh, he's dead? Well then, to the victor goes the spoils. Hashtag Lauren. No! Not cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So not cool. To be clear, cool. I am not their antagonist. Characters that I create are their antagonists. That's fair. Kind sometimes of antagonists. characters I create are also their friends. Or sometimes they, like, cremate a body without letting the... Or sometimes know. they get sniped before you guys. So they didn't have to spend four turns sniping three of you. That makes sense, yeah. Uh, Knight of Red, oh, sorry, BP Phantom, one die each to mainframe Mordecai, Fang, Elsie, and Crumb. Whoops, Lauren then. Hashtag no. sinless. Also, just run. Oh. Ottawa is nice. We should have just run. Like we... yeah. Knight of Red 32. If I ever leave this world alive, I'll thank you for all the things you did in my life. If I ever leave this world alive, I'll come back and sit beside your feet tonight. Whenever I am, you'll always be more than just a memory. Hashtag Fang. Oh. Knight of Red 32 uh, sent a duplicate. Is that a duplicate? No, it's not. Or is it two separate ones? Oh, this one's for Elsie. Okay. If I ever leave this world alive, I'll take on all the sadness that I left behind. If I ever leave this world alive, the madness that you feel will soon subside. So in a world, don't tear, don't shed a tear. I'll be here when it gets weird. Hashtag Elsie. BP Phantom, oi Mordecai, it's me, Crumb Ring. If you put me on, I'll give you power of blindness. Hashtag Mordecai, hashtag this. That's list. a terrible Thank power. You. Worked out well for him. Uh, uh, this is from Lottie. Some so dice well. for hashtag Fang. I'm really surprised you didn't figure out she was flirting with you. I, I think part of it was like Claudia didn't realize yeah, it. Yeah, no, I know. Uh, <laughs> and then more so, I was like, no one flirts with someone like uh, three days yeah, after that. Yeah, that was just normal so... people don't flirt. Lottie is unhinged. Like, I just want to make it clear, she's not. Normal to be clear, I safe. thought you were like setting up our next run when you invited oh, her, and then, no. then it just turned out. Did you to like be that we didn't learn our lesson by just go listening to people who were like, "Come to the bar alone"? Okay. <laughs> BB Phantom, and now maybe the OTP can happen. Hashtag Fang and Lottie. Hashtag Fatty. Hashtag Long. Hmm, tough one. Hashtag the Sinless. Cyber legs and cyber oh, arms together at last. I do like. I like the cyber legs. <laughs> uh, Dutton, raise a glass to Cromwell. Elsie, mainframe Mordecai Fang. Tiny Beeman, ghost noises. Woo! Fang, all right, came back from the grave to make sure you don't use your sword on non-living. So can I do something that's completely, like, I appreciate who Tony is as a human being. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm gonna try this. I think it goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, let it be cray cray. Uh, <laughs> in Russia, Tinder swipes for you. <laughs> Uh, pizza, pizza fed plus one for apocalypse. Hashtag thing. Shellyoquai, shellyoquai, shellyoquai. Shellyoquai. Shelly. Shelly. Actually, no. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna be honest. Shelly is what I thought, but oh, oh that that really soliloquy, soliloquy, yeah. soliloquy. That would make a lot of sense. Wow, I'm really sorry. We, we just we, we know you in your art, but together. apparently not how to pronounce your name. Uh, two dice each for um fe, fem. You got this. Oh, thank you, oh, Shelly. Thank you, Shelly. Tuds, dear Odan, the red goddess is your goddess and the red goddess is one. Hashtag Mordecai. <laughs> I, well, thanks for the dice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to unpack that. Yeah, that's fair. Wishful thinker, realize that I can't watch the a last episode live next week, so I wish all of you good luck for this week and next. Thank oh. you for everything. Remember, if things go terribly wrong, you can always escape to Canada. Hashtag Mordecai, hashtag Elsie, hashtag Fang, hashtag Mainframe. Thank, Thank you. Thanks. Sorry. I think we, we were right. Next week. Shouting into oh, the void. Shililiqui. Her Twitter Shililiqui. is for shouting into the void. That makes so Wait, much what sense. Is, what is that? Shililiqui. A soliloquy is a speech that you make to no yeah. one. It's a Or to God. So, or to God. Oh, like a Shakespeare thing. Yes. It's like a dramatic monologue that you buy with Edge. Oh, except yeah. people listen. But to not a person. Yeah. That's uh. the important part with a soliloquy. You're like, yeah. to be or not to be is a soliloquy. Because he's not saying it's anyone. There. Danger guy, hashtag Fang in mem memory of Magnus and oh. Cromwell, courtesy of the Cromwell Foundation for non-piggies. It's really rough. Soliloquy. apparently I got too excited to tag, so more dice, two times, hashtag Fang, hashtag Elsie, hashtag Mainframe, hashtag Mordecai. Oh, Thank oh you, Shelly. Shelly. That's so nice. 
to Huds. Everyone's so nice. I have nothing yeah, witty to say. Just make sure Dan doesn't fuck up the ship, please. Hashtag mainframe. Hashtag Mordecai. You really fucking pushy That's... to Huds. Again, <laughs> there's only one ship left, so... Uh, I'm sorry, wait. You mean Lottie and Fang, right? I think there's a couple of ships left. There's so many there's ships I can sail. But we're running so out many. of ports. Uh-uh. Uh, Don't listen one. Hashtag mainframe. Ma hashtag mainframe. Jackpoint says things are heating up by you. Don't worry, she couldn't get it because she can't connect to Jackpoint right now. Here, take these two emergency sprites. Good luck out there. Oh, man. Hashtag mainframe for hashtag Muppet Mafia. Thank you. And those are all of the tips from tonight. Thank you so much, Thanks, everybody, guys. for all of your support and kind words. And please tune in live next week. It's going to be epic. It's going to be uh. grand. It's going to oh be God. the finale of Shatter and Corporate Sins. Let's uh, sign off for the second to last time. Hey, Thumpers, I'm Janine. I am at Admiral Asthma. Goodbye <laughs> for tonight. I am Claudia, but you can find me on, at Jackie Dash. J-A-K-I-T-A-S-H. Goodbye for tonight. I am Cheryl, AKA Muppets Aphrodite on Twitter and Twitch. Dan Poslins at Dan Poslins. And I have been your GM, Lauren, at Random Tuesday on Twitter. Thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye, Hmm.